Now the preseason rolls on from the United Center. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Night here in downtown Chicago. The Bulls have won two straight, and they play game number five of the preseason tonight. It's the two and two Bulls versus the two and one Atlanta Hawks. We already know Jimmy can drive to the basket, but what he really he's improved so much on is his mid-range jump shot. I don't need him to knock down threes. I need him to hit that 18 to 20 foot jump shot to keep defenses honest. We know he's going to get out in transition. We know he's going to get to the free throw line, but to make teams honor that jump shot. Of course, uh, as I mentioned, Stacy, the return of Horford gives them a different dimension as Butler sticks a jumper. Outside, Joe, and he pokes one in. Uh, Joe's been working on that game. Schroeder driving, kind of oh, blocked man. again by Joe. I guess he didn't see the scouting report. There's Butler, and he lays it in. I'll tell you, and that's what the Bulls want to do. They want to run on opportunities on shot blocking or long rebounds, and that time Jimmy Butler filling the left lane. Derek in the middle of the floor. Nope. Dangerous combo. Corner of Butler, short, long rebound to Atlanta. Fox on the run, good good hustle. by Jimmy Butler. Good hustle by Jimmy. Noah and Butler. Exchange, Jimmy blocked by Damari Carroll and a foul called. Carroll, good defense by McDermott. Carroll fires, misses. Jimmy Butler, the rebound, pushes his dribble ahead. Butler oh. swoops in and, and one. And oh, won. there he is, big bucket. Jimmy G buckets, the G stands for gets. And you see Mike Scott trying to take a charge while he's jumping in the air and he's not gonna get that call. You see him right there as he jumps in the air trying to get a charge. Jimmy just goes through the contact, finishes strong off the window. And then completes the three-point play. Butler running in, not that time, but a foul on Damari Carroll. Running in, blocked by Jimmy Butler and out of bounds. And now it's a Hawks finding it tougher sledding when they get in there. Taj first, and then this time Jimmy just down to Butler with a smaller defender on him. Backs in. Oh, oh nice move. Oh, yeah. oh, put him in a spin cycle. JB. He got a mouse in the house. Free cheese. That's how they open it up for Jimmy. Give it back to him. They do. And nice. Oh, you know what the G stands for, Chicago. Gets buckets. Butler, great body control by JB and finishes strong. It is again. You see John Jenkins. Nothing he can do right now. He's beat. And he fouls him with the body. Goes up and under. Ah. Up the glass. There he is. Oh, Point yes. blank. Blocked. Outside Curry. Nope. Ah. Rebound Butler. Lost it, but a foul. I tell you, he's just overpowering the Atlanta guards. The Hawks are shooting 38%, Stacy, and the Bulls 36%. Well, Jimmy Butler's got him in here going now. He's got eight points in the fourth quarter, and it's just been a variety of moves. Post up, free cheese, put him in the spin cycle. The laundry's done. And again, goes back door, goes up, up and under, and one. John Jenkins rode his back all the way to the rim on that play. And they go right back to Butler. He drives again, spins it up. Oh, it's, it's like Michael Jordan out here. He's got the body control. Jimmy B, oh my goodness. Yes, he has been, and he is they, every time down. They've tried to force feed him. Jimmy spins down the lane, running in, and a whistle on a foul. Yeah, Jimmy's on attack mode right now. Schroeder fed it inside, and it's stolen by guess who? Jimmy Butler. Butler turns the corner. Kick out. Snell floats up a shot. Short rebound. Back up. Nope. I'll tell Butler you what. We'll get to the line again. Gasol off the elbow. Power drive. Strip stolen. Good steal by Jenkins. Stole it back. Lead to Gasol. Wow. Pow, pow, pow. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Heinrich with a big play. They bounce it in. McDermott, nowhere to go. Back to Butler. Butler raises up. He's fouled. Wow. Oh, wow. my goodness. What are you doing, son? And he makes the first. Jimmy makes two. Jimmy wow, wow, to make this wow. One. And he does. Tell you what, it's the JB time. They're going to play for one shot. Schroeder with Heinrich on it. Schroeder runs in, layup is Told up. you, told you, 1.5 seconds, so you want to try to get something quick. You got enough time to get a catch and shoot. 
but I think the Bulls will try to throw something to the rim with their with one of their big guys. Use Jimmy Butler as a decoy. Heinrich flips it in. Butler firing. Oh my goodness! It's only preseason, but I'm hyped. Neil Funk, Jimmy G, oh buckets, gets buckets. Oh my goodness! Give me the hot sauce, Neil Funk. Give me the hot sauce. Three by Butler. They should call him Jimmy Jordan, because he looked like Michael Jordan tonight. Oh my goodness. 85-84. Bulls win. The officials are going to look at it, but I don't think there was any I don't question. think I ain't listen. That was a bucket. Here it is Butler. right here. Catch and shoot. Clearly gets it off. Let's go home, Chicago. Drive home safely. Beep, beep. Butler with 29. Oh, and he got the little leg kick too, and he walks off like he knew it was good. Jimmy Jordan, because he played like Michael tonight. Chicago, smash, bang, let's go home. Bang, bang, bang. Woo, fuck, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Jimmy, what a game you had. You just took over. Is that something in your bed in the back of your mind? You came out in the fourth, you guys were losing. You said, I want the ball in my hands. I want to win this game for my team. Man, uh, I guess my teammate just had confidence in me to, to make shots, to get to the line and create brothers, man. It, it's huge that they're confident in me like that. I'm not sure how many Jimmy Butlers were out there. It seemed like there were seven of you. Stacy said he looked like Michael Jordan was out there the way you were playing. Don't do that. Don't do that. But uh, I felt good. I got into a groove. They kept giving me the ball. I made a few shots. I made a few free throws. You got those three free throws. That doesn't happen very often. Are you surprised Eddie fouled you on that shot? Uh, I was. I don't think he was going to, but he did. So you got to step up and make them. Are you ready for the regular season? I think you are ready for the regular season. No, it's not about if I'm ready. We have to be ready. I can't do it on my own. I didn't do it on my own here in the fourth quarter. So uh, we'll get back to, uh, to the film and practice, and we'll be all right. It was only the preseason, but a win like this, how much does this help the team? It's huge. Uh, we don't play to lose, that's for sure. Um, preseason, regular season, playoffs, we want to win every game because uh, wins are hard to come by. Eventually signed with New York, Carmelo said, you know, also being under the... Watchful eye of Jackson as he rebuilds the franchise, and there is a great shot with a free outside by Jimmy Butler, Stoudemire. Well, he has, he's going to have to do some extra recruiting because when you look at the roster, and we just showed all the a list of names that are going to be potential free agents. Yep, he, he's got to get on the phone and, and get another superstar to play alongside him. Back -to -back but, baskets. but the interesting thing about that, even if they get another superstar, they're still a long way from being a contender. Reddy, you're a big Butler fan, and I know the fans, you know, they vote to start, but Jimmy Butler is not an all-star. Uh, these coaches don't have a clue either. What? I'm saying Jimmy Butler deserves to be oh, an all-star. Oh, you said he's not an all-star. No, he is an all-star. Absolutely he's an all-star. You're strong. He is near some pretty significant numbers, averaging Deep in double figures, scoring and in rebounding. He's already got six, and it's like he's been rejuvenated coming back to Chicago. Oh, 21 points, he's averaging Bulls. almost six rebounds, three assists. But more importantly, it's, it's that right there. What he's done at the defensive end. Heinrich. Into Aldrich. Noah just picked up his second personal foul. But no took his foul. See how unselfish play that was, yeah. Kevin? I mean, yep. to me, that's why Jimmy Butler is an all-star. Okay. He was undrafted. He played with Atlanta's Summer League team. Knicks signed him, and they liked him so much they traded. He has a three-point shot, and Jimmy Butler hitting from outside. Aaron Brooks is in for the first time, watching the three. Aaron Brooks puts it in. He is in a long line of guys who have backed up. Derrick Rose, Chicago has gone four of five, shooting threes. Butler, Bulls have hit their last five. Jimmy Butler on the move. Jimmy yeah. Butler. The Knicks have got to be careful. This thing could get out of hand in a hurry. It's a three by Butler. Well, he's got this float tonight. Jimmy just, Butler putting it in. Charles, you just can't always hate on New York. I don't hate on the Knicks. You, they, they, everybody, I told you, everybody in New York wants to tell them how great their team is. It, this team is not good. So Break that, the other way. Butler and Heinrich. And Larkin was defending. Here comes Heinrich for three. Kirk Heinrich. The Boos is a good player, but he's a small power forward. And when they play, now they are physically imposing. 
Jimmy Butler. Now you put Noah and uh, Gasol out there. That's a big front as line. well as Taj Gibson. Yes. The Bulls have missed their last five. Going back to the second quarter. On the move, Butler. He's second in assists, third in assists, excuse me, third in assists, first in steals. And I like him a lot as a player, don't get me wrong. How about that? Makes the steal, got the offensive board. You're already paying Derrick Rose to max. And uh, is that Jimmy Butler's fault? I don't, listen, listen, you can't pay everybody. I, I don't, you can't pay everybody. I like I say, this kid's a terrific player. Charles, we saw this in Cleveland, second game of the year, when they hung around in LeBron's you know, return game home. Butler with the shot right there. Jimmy's got 23. Yes, Charles, he's a max player. Butler defended by Hardaway. They're the, running the offense through him. And to Charles's point, his MVP year, teams always used to go under the pick and roll. And he still found ways to get into the paint and score because he didn't care. I always thought it was always the coach's fault when I played. Now, now that I have to get on television and be honest, sometimes these players are just uh, damn idiots. <laughs> so uh, what you're saying is a few of those firings, you were an idiot? And Butler the other way. See what I mean? That little spurt right there. Butler inside, hit you know, down to the line. Noah, Heinrich, Butler, shot clock at five, three, good! He's played amazing tonight, been magnificent. He's maybe, got a career high. Hey, well, maybe he did deserve ma max money then. <laughs> he earned it tonight. So the Knicks took a lead with about nine and a half to go by two. With nine and a half left in the fourth quarter, the Bulls went on a 12 nothing run and they never trailed the rest of the way. Jimmy Butler with a career high 35. Well, guys, I'm here with Jimmy Butler and you were playing this game without Derrick Rose. It got a little tight there at the end, but how'd you guys push through? Uh, we just guarded and um, we made shots. We got the ball to the open guy. I think that's what this team is all about, with or without D-Rose. And the career high for you, 35 points. What were you seeing out there tonight? The, uh, my teammates were getting me the ball in positions to score. They made it really easy for me. I was confident taking the shots that I worked on. Coach Tom Thibodeau was saying that your development was hurt at the beginning of your career because you came in in the lockout year. No summer league, no practices really that year. And then it took you a while to find your footing. But this year you are a player in full. How do you feel about your game right now? Uh, I, feel, I feel like I can, I can always get better, for one. But um, I like the way it's going. I got to stay confident. And I just got to play basketball the right way. Um, some nights you score, some nights you got to rebound, some nights you got to pass. All right, back to back. You guys heading to Memphis now, possibly without Derek again. You guys up for it? Of course. That's what this league's all about. Um, you want to play the best. You know, we want them with us. But if not, uh, we're supposed to win, and he knows that we can win. All right, thanks so much. I appreciate it. All right, back to you guys. Randolph against Noah. Zebo will send it, not score it, and the rebound. To Jimmy Butler in his fourth season out of Marquette and an early candidate for most improved oh, player of the year. No question. Heinrich Gasol to give back to Heinrich underneath. Inside out. Swing, swing. Heinrich is there and buries the jumper. Father time. I mean, just keeps playing. And Jimmy Butler with the steal and the backhanded layup. How test the middle. His hook is blocked, but then the follow by Butler. Butler's going to be where the basketball is. Snell for three. Long rebound. Jimmy Butler collides with Vince Carter and draws the foul. Grizzlies have won 11 in a row here at FedEx Forum over teams that were coming in on the second night of a back to back. Bulls played last night against New York. And a blocking foul called. Vince with a fadeaway. Whose principle are we talking about? The principle of verticality. Oh, I thought it was like my high school or something. He set some rule. Or I was going to the principal. Butler. Yeah, see, now Butler's got the torch because he's been to the free throw yep. line four times. Butler calls for the screen. Shot clock inside of five. Butler starts his move and got my Prince. Three on two. Or three on three. Knocked away by Heinrich. Prince, the loose ball. Missed everything. Butler on the attack and banks it home in transition. And yet the Grizzlies are down just eight. 
Butler, down 10. Grizzlies call for time. Butler with 16, second assist for Noah, and the Bulls have their largest lead of the night. Randolph against Gasol. Backs him down, bides his time, but then the ball poked free, and it comes to the Bulls. Butler is open. And the Grizzlies, even when they get a good defensive play, can't convert. Five-point game. Can he get a stop with 7.4? Grizzlies don't have a foul to give. Butler picked up by Pondexter. Able to turn the corner and put it in. Butler on fire. 9 of 16 to 22 points. Butler able to turn the corner against John Luer and draw the foul. Grizzlies shooting 37.5% in just a two-possession game. Brooks, I beg your pardon, Butler with the drive and the end one. Foul on Vince Carter. I thought Vince was a little bit too far out with that hard of pressure. And I suspect the reason Randolph's not on the floor, Miritich is not going to post up. He's going to go on the perimeter. Butler forced into a fadeaway, banked it in. 29 for Jimmy Butler. And the Chicago Bulls will walk out of here winners. 17-9 for the Bulls. Grizzlies suffer just their fifth defeat of the season and just their second at home, and they fail in their bid to sweep the Eastern Conference in the calendar year of 2014. Grizzlies shoot just 39%, and they waste a night in which they had a season-low four turnovers, also had a season-low 12 assists. Tonight, on a rainy night outside the United Center, the Bulls, winners of seven of their last ten, take on the best record in the East. Toronto has won six straight, but are 0-1 versus the Bulls this season. It's the Bulls and the Toronto Raptors. The officials tonight, Mike Callahan, Courtney Kirkland, and Derek Richardson. As the, the jumper, and the Bulls off to a solid start. Butler, one of one. D. Rose, one of one. Dunleavy slices down the lane, punches it out. Butler of fake. And now raises up for two and knocks and that good, down. Good ball movement. Good ball. Get the ball inside, open things up from the outside. And teams are continuing to give Jimmy Butler that outside shot, and he's making them pay. Tuna sends it upstairs and then back underneath. And the no whistle as Valanchunas tried to go up, and it's out of bounds again with 11 to shoot. Lowry hangs in the air, missed that, and the rebound, Pau Gasol. Yeah, good defense by Taj. They got him right in there, mouse in the house. Taj inside, yep. scores. And he switched out. That's what, when you switch out defensively, and the Bulls were able to get that rebound cleanly. Butler hanging and scoring. Ross got lost that time, and Butler made him pay. Jimmy's in the post. And he powers his way in, turns, shot up, no, and a foul called on Patterson as Jimmy. Jimmy to Kirk out of the corner three, and that's good. Well, good job right there. Good ball movement set up. A little wheel action with Jimmy Butler. Hey, good defense right there. Rose running in, blocked, and then the follow by Jimmy Butler. Good hustle by J.B. Butler. Oh, he got a defender on his back and had it blocked, but a foul called. And just good patience right there by J.B. Butler. Let's see if Jimmy can get to the free throw line. He feeds it inside. That's loose. And then uh, loose again. Butler firing. He's fouled. Oh, Jimmy G. Buckets. The G stands for gets. Three-point wow. field goal. Wow. He was knocked off kilter. Now watch this right here. Presence of mind to get it up. Lowry goes up. Good block. Blocked it. Good block by Jimmy. Jimmy switched on to Lowry and just denied him the shot. Jimmy. Butler. Butler back door and knocked away. Stolen by James Johnson. Another turnover. James Johnson poked away by Jimmy Butler. We don't want to get into the penalty right now. It's too much time. Williams, fade away block by Jimmy Butler and out of bounds. I'll tell you what, Jimmy's on him like fly paper. Jimmy's been on everybody. I mean, here he is right here. And you see the block right there, but he doesn't allow these guys to get over the screen. He fights through the screens. Six to shoot. Williams, that's oh, blocked block. by Jimmy Butler. He cannot. Williams. 
Maybe he should think about giving that ball up with Jimmy on him. Jimmy's got three blocks tonight. You know, I think they're all on Williams. There he is inside. He missed it. And Jimmy's going to the free throw line. They've gone totally away from Valanciunas in the second half. They get it to him on this possession. He rumbles into the lane, goes up block, and then put back up and good by Patterson. And Jimmy with another block, I think. Butler starts to back, turns, fires, oh, scores. Nice play. And that easily could have been an and one if Lowry tried to fake a charge. Got him to Joe. He runs in. Oh, I'm going to get some butter with that roll. Little finger roll for Joe. That's it, Chicago. Drive home safely. Beep, beep. Bulls win it. 129 to 120. Pelicans coming off a big win against San Antonio. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And have finally crept over 500. In a very tough Western Conference. Butler, oh, nice move. Pokes one in from 14. Oh, he got Tariq Evans up there with a nice little eyebrow fake. Evans trying to turn the corner on oh, Butler. Shit. Got a shot up, no. And the rebounding assault. Good defense by Jimmy. Choosing a nice. Butler nice. on the break from. Mike Dunley. And that was because you saw Tyreek Evans getting a little lazy getting back defensively. Who's crank to Butler. Up fake on Babbitt. Jimmy has his way with him on the drive. He scores and draws the foul. Jimmy Butler just, he didn't have a lot of room on that baseline, but he's just so strong. He just goes right through Luke Babbitt. Butler comes to the left side and then angles back right on a drive. Foul with the body. Powell's long armed. And a tremendous reach, but match that on that defensive sequence. Here's Todd. Jumper is good. Right up over Anderson. Get it in to Butler. Butler driving. Shot up and good. And he just fought his way through that traffic. And scored. Nicely done by Jimmy. He's got 10. Anderson a pump fake. And the step back two off the heel of the rim. Abbott swatted at it. A loose ball on Babbitt. Jimmy Butler with the foul. Good job by Jimmy. It's on uh, Ryan Anderson. Butler raises up and scores at the other end. Tyreek Evans tried to kind of come underneath him a little bit and unsettle him, but he couldn't do it. Back to steal right there on Anthony Davis. Here comes uh, Butler running in, lost the handle, but a foul. Will be on Tyreek Evans with the reach in. Now, double clutch jumper, no. Rebound tapped out of there. And here comes Tyreek Evans right at Jimmy Butler. What a shot. Jimmy, and Jimmy got, got a piece of it. It was tipped in by O'Mara Sheik. Jimmy hustle. got a piece of that. Wow, he did. The ball stolen. Here comes Aaron. He passed Jimmy, and his layup is good. You see how he shielded off. Tyreek Evans right there. It looked like Tyreek was going to get the steal, but Jimmy shielded him off and got that ball. Nice play. Butler. The drive. He's right on in. And the yeah, he just blew right by Tyreek Evans like he was on the Edens. And he had my pass. He just blew right by him. Caught him standing still, and Anthony Davis couldn't help him out. The saw about 18 feet away. Hands to Jimmy. Hands fires. Scores. I'll tell you what, he, he's playing with so much confidence right now. He. He's playing like an all-star. He knows it. I mean, he just has so much confidence when he's coming off these screens, these three-point shots. Unbelievable. Butler. Jimmy. Oh, he spun right by him. Oh, put him in the spin cycle. Neil Funk, his laundry's done. Oh, he is now oh, yeah, right. That's just a bully in the, in, the, in the sandbox right there. He just he just overpowered Drew Holiday. Butler, he spin. He plays. Oh. He shoots. He's and good. one. Jimmy. G buckets. The G stands for get, Neil Fox. Foul underneath. Butler with a three-point play try. Jimmy back to the basket, turns, fires. On the and go. I'll tell you what, his post game is really, really unstoppable. You get the smaller man on Jimmy Butler. It's mouse in the house, three cheese all night long. 107-100. Despite 29 from Anthony Davis, the Bulls overcome it with 33 from Jimmy Butler and 19 from Derrick Rose. That's short. 
Yeah, but you don't want him getting that kind of shot. You saw missed that shot. He was in the paint. And here is George Hill with a left hand. It's tipped out. Now running is Butler. Pacers have missed a couple at the rim. Boy, what a play by Butler. He made a move to cut off the defender who was chasing Noah and then made a nice little drop off to him. He, <laughs> that was a heck of a play. Turnaround jumper by Butler. And it's a 10 to 6 Chicago lead. Skull has hit 11 of his last 21 on the road trip in Brooklyn and Detroit. And what a move by Jimmy Butler. The challenge that you have with the lineup the Pacers have is that shot was basically shot from under the rim, which means you don't have Hibbert on the floor. The two fouls hurt on that particular offensive play. And now Jimmy Butler is fouled. You won't see him off the floor much. He leads the league in minutes at better than 40 minutes per game. game. He plays a lot of minutes for him. Oh. Got to watch the runners coming. Oh, was that on the rim? It, it looked close. Now Copeland. His jump shot, oh boy, was in and rattles out. Here comes Derrick Rose. Bulls six-point lead, just under five minutes to play. Second quarter, and now Butler from three-point range is good. He's added that to his arsenal. He's only a 33% three-point shooter, but he's made now 28 on the year. Oh, that's Roy's fourth, third, uh, that's Roy's third foul. Now Indiana has Hill on Butler. Right, that, that's the whole boy. He, he catches it on the floor, and then they're going to call a loose ball foul. The loose ball foul is on George Hill while he was on the floor, I believe. Pacers, West is looking for points 9 and 10. He lost it. Yeah, he did. He's going to, yeah. That's going to be close, but he may have gotten it. But this has been kind of there's a fight going on there between him. David West and Gasol, and Gasol somehow got his hands on that ball. It will be under review, but by my eyes, I think he got it away in time. I think he did, too. The Pacers trying to win back-to-back -back games. Beat Brooklyn on Saturday night at Barclays Center. Chicago has Brooklyn tomorrow night at the United Center as Jimmy Butler hits the jump shot. Yeah, now you can see where his game is. They set these screens, and it's really hard. The big, big men have to get up for the pace and now Rose missed it and that's Jimmy Butler yeah Stucky fell asleep on him on the backside and that ball hit the rim softly Here's Butler jumps it out to Rose oh, no good and that's Butler again well, Frank's calling the timeout he's saying Jimmy Butler goaltended that shot here's Rose hands. taken Pacers, by yeah. Hill well, Solomon Hill did a nice job getting his hands in there, but he threw it away. He may have gotten fouled. When we saw Detroit score 36 in the third quarter Friday night against the Pacers, the Bulls had 34. Copeland jumps it in. Yeah, he just another one right over the top. 17 for Copeland. And on the drive, a foul. The Pacers are going to go with guys who been getting it done for me, and Coach has been doing that. Oh, that's a jump ball. Oh, they, oh, they didn't call it jump ball, they just called it Pacers ball. Rose is guarding yeah. Miles. We wouldn't let him go to his left. You're going to have to shoot that. Yeah, Allen. He's, yeah, he's got to shoot it. He had not made yeah. many shots tonight. He's just three of eight, but a huge shot for Allen. You're talking about a guy with a feel. A feel for when the shot has to be taken, when the shot clock was going. He knew that he had to take the shot and was prepared when he caught it to to take that. He's getting help from his teammate Roy Hibbert on the bench. They go to help. Butler for three. It's good. They came to help. Yeah. yeah you, and you really have to because you, you it's a tough position because you got Allen trying to go. Offensive foul on Copeland. Oh, he's wide open. Wide open. open. Watson. Short. And short. the Pacers come up short in a valiant comeback try in the fourth quarter. C.J. Watson had a couple of looks, one that would have given the Pacers the lead twice in the final minute. But the Chicago Bulls hold off the Pacers 92-90. Marquette, number 21, Jimmy Butler. 
throws. Now Powell, Jimmy Butler. Powell's open from 16. And that's a tough matchup for Mozgov, who has to come out from protecting the rim. Chandler drives, got it inside, blocked away. Oh, good defense. Joe Keane come over with the help. Dunleavy collects it, fires it, scores it. Oh, reservations for Mike Dunleavy for three. For Reed inside. That was nearly blocked. Now Derek's on the run again. Derek to Butler. There you go. Defense creating offense quickly. And we're going to see this block by Pau Gasol. Butler all the way along the baseline. Back out to Mike. He's open. Firing. Got it. Bang, bang, bang. Mike well, he's, in a, he's in a nice rhythm. Especially from the three-point line. And a nice game against Brooklyn. And upstairs, Kirk open. Shot good. Welcome back, Captain Kirk. And uh, wide open with good ball movement by the Bulls. Lawson got right on in there. And then taken away by Aaron Brooks. Good defense. Ahead to Butler running. And he is fouled. Denver comes in 4 and 11 on the road. Rose to Butler. Firing. That's good. Took his time there. Just raised up and buried it. He rose to Butler. Butler gallops in, scores and oh, That's a strong move right there, and that's Jimmy at his best. Slashing to the hoop and finishing strong. Now Jimmy just last couple of times down has said, hey, I'm the best player on the floor. I'm going to get us back in this. Butler slicing in, scores. And again, you see Fareed is the one guy who's able to be a free agent because he's guarding Joe Joaquin Noah, and he's able to go off his man to help on any kind of penetration inside. Derek or Jimmy Butler, long three, nothing but net. Jimmy Butler plants one from the right side. Now, now he's starting to heat up now, five and nine. Saul's in trouble, got it out to Butler. Pump fake, throws a shot up and scores. Oh, Boy, he has a way of making the difficult shot look easy. Well, shot clock winding down. A lot of pressure on that shot, but Jimmy Butler answers. Butler comes right back you to track stop. me. You got to stop the dribble penetration. Give up the three-point shot. You can contest that. Don't give up the layup. Now Jimmy, who's tried to carry this Bulls team in this quarter, and there's a Taj, and he goes up and scores. Yeah, good job by His Taj. First field goal of the game. Butler flashes in and drew the foul. Uh, Jimmy knows what to do with it. When he's not shooting it, he drives it. Let's see if they send a double team over. Butler, the drive along the baseline. Back out to Kirk. Oh, beat me up, Scotty. And was set up by Jimmy Butler. Oh, they opened the floor. Kirk went to the corner. They came over to help Jimmy with a nice pass to Captain Kirk. Rose from distance. And he, made it. You see, he was able to step into that shot, Neil. He walked right into the three-point shot, got himself squared up nicely, and drained that three-point shot. Oh, there's a ball pop three, and now Derek's on the run. Rose. Go get it! Butler. Go get it! The brother did it! From Derek Rose. Go get it, JB! Go get it! Denver comes in a hurry. And there's the long jumper that won't go. Rebound, Rose tips it to Noah. Game over. Drive home safe for Chicago. BB, happy New Year! 6 101. The Bulls defeat the Denver Nuggets here on New Year's Day. Now, tonight at the United Center, you can see inside, not too bad, outside, a little snow in the forecast as the Bulls. Home stand continues. The winners of nine of their last ten welcome in a Western Conference power featuring two all-star type players. It's the Rockets and the Bulls. This all since Heinrich threw. And he operates against Howard. Backs him in. Got Jimmy Butler, no, but a foul call. And see, that's where that's where you can get James Harden. Harden outside against the Heinrich. Oh, he lost him 15 feet away and pours the jumper in. Yeah, he's, he's so good off the dribble. Harden against Heinrich. Shot inside, and he scores again. You're, you're not going to be able to, to stop him. You just want to make him work on both ends. Long range, and that's good. That's a three by Harden. Harden weaving his way into the lane, floated it up short, and the ball out of bounds. Going to go to the Bulls. Well, he's going to face a different defensive player in Jimmy Butler.
Now Jimmy Butler's going to play him physical. He's going to get up in the screens, not allowing him to use those screens that he was able to get away with with Kirk Heinrich. The Butler to Taj. Nice play. The Brewers got themselves back in the game now. Here's Brewer quickly. Oh, that was quick. Brooks with seven to shoot. Now Butler. Butler against Brewer. Butler spins. The turnaround is good. I'll tell you what, he, he is really perfecting that post game. He gets that block down there, gets his man on his block. He's got a variation of moves. Hard. What a drive and a finish. Oh, he just set that up nicely. There's Aaron inside. No tap by Powell. Back up and go. Oh, size matters. Size matters. Wow. And he just used his height and length over Josh Smith. Well, you mentioned his. Uh, oh, give me Butler. that. He blocked it with two hands. But Butler did it. Good how defense. About, how about Paul Gasol? 18 first quarter uh, points. I tell you what, big time players make big time plays. There's a Howard on the rim. No one. Butler clears the rebound. The Bulls got a little rhythm when they went to their bench. There's a lot. Whoa! Jimmy Butler. Jimmy G. Buckets. The Butler G stand for get up between Brewer and Howard. Oh, that might be a poster. He went between two guys right there. Howard was on the backside of that. That was a tremendous pass. Brewer still trying to figure out where he went. All you guys do is look upstairs. Ahead to Brewer. Brewer. Oh, again, he tried oh, to throw one out in the crowd. Here comes Butler. Fouled. And uh, Brewer's, ha Brewer's having kind of a tough outing here. Harden into the lane. Jimmy nearly took it away. Harden leans in, missed it. Rebound, Noah. Derek has exploded now. He was 0 for his first three, and now he's made four in a row. Oh, that's Harden a tough shot. Knocks one down from the perimeter. Jimmy was all in his face that time. Contested that shot. It's a pickoff by Ariza. Beverly outside the hard he fires and that's like a free throw and, for uh and, and, Harden right and there. And Nico's got to recognize when he has Harden on him, you got to put that ball on the floor and you get by him and don't mess around. Now Powell against uh, Howard at the other end. He's stripped away. Harden's on the run. Harden down the lane, gallops in, got a shot up and good. Uh, he knew he was going to do that. He didn't care who was back. Or Jimmy, and that's stolen. That was... Uh, Nice job defensively by Ariza. Fed ahead. Nope. Ball back tapped out. Jimmy Butler saved it back. Good hustle. Throws behind his back. Grabbed and fouled by Beverly. That was good Spectacular hustle. Spectacular plays. Two great hustle plays by the Bulls. And then Derek with a little bit of dribbling magic. A lot of little sub stories in this plot. Here's Harden from outside. Missing that. Got James Harden on Jimmy Butler. Butler knocked away and uh, picked back up by Houston. Saul skips it out, threw it away. Ariza read that. And you saw that he baited that pass. And Jimmy just baited that one to Monte Eunice. Comes Jimmy the other way. Butler driving. Nope, but a foul as he took it right in on. Uh, it's going to be on Howard. Howard. Butler and now Heinrich. Heinrich up shooting and that's blocked. Kind of settled that time for that shot. He Lead pass and a stuff. Monte Eunice running the floor. Derek takes over here. Outside, they sail by Jimmy and he made a pay. You don't want to get away from what got you to lead, got you to tie this game up and gave you some success in the first half. That's a block and then Beverly had it. Pick back up. Back out. Butler got it. That's bang, a three. Bang, bang. Jimmy buries one. Work Harden off the screens. Jimmy stayed right with him, trailed him all the way along the baseline. Now Harden into the lane. Creates some space. The jumper is no good. The rebound tipped out of there by Joe. Good defense. Right into the hands of Pau Gasol. This quarter hasn't been quite as high scoring. Jimmy off that glass and good. Oh, nice Knocked play. down and thought he was fouled by the bend. Harden against Butler. Harden weaves in and then threads a pass and the layup is good for Smith. Good find by James Harden. Brooks. Gun to Butler. The pump fake. The three in the air. Nope. Oh, there's going to be a foul on Ariza. Ariza's going to claim that Jimmy kicked his legs out. 
Beverly back to Hart for three. Nope. And the long rebound to Miritich. Bulls 23. Uh, well, you talk about that shot attempt advantage. Hart nowhere to go. Watch his shoes. No. Very short. You talk about that uh, shot advantage. Here's Jimmy raising up. Oh, Jimmy G buckets. The G stands for get steal fall. Harden against Butler. Butler falls down. Offensive, offensive foul. foul. And that's why Jimmy is going to be on the all defensive team again this year. Your second team last year. But to be able to take away a guy's strong move is on his left. Now watch Jimmy. He knows he's going to go left. He anticipates, jumps over, gets the chest out and takes it. Here it is again, anticipates, bang. He knows where he's going. And Jimmy studies tape, don't sleep. Jimmy's one of the best defensive on-ball defenders in the league. Harden to his right, outside. Jumper poured in, that's Smith. The one guy that you want to shoot yeah. that three-point shot, he exactly. steps up, comes in 11%. 103-102 Houston, a minute, 35 left. Derek double team skipped out. Jimmy's wide open for three. Oh, oh bang, bang, bang. Bubble. Jimmy buckets. Butler with a three. 105, 103. I'll tell you what, you got to start mentioning his name in the MVP race. Harden, dribble drive. Floats it up, missed it, but gets two free throws. That might be on Nico with the reach in. Beverly fires from the outside, missed that. A rebound to Saul. Let's drive home safely, Chicago. Beep, beep. Saul with his 14th rebound of the game. What a game again for Paul Gasol. 27 points, 14 rebounds. Jimmy Butler, 22 points, 5 rebounds. Good evening from Los Angeles. It's game two of our TNT National NBA doubleheader. The Chicago Bulls have the third best road record in the NBA and almost at full health as they continue this road trip against the Los Angeles Lakers. In the Eastern Conference, the Bulls fourth right now and a three-game lead on LeBron and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Good move right there by Derrick Rose, who's coming off a 30-point game for Coach Tom Thibodeau against the Golden State Warriors on Tuesday. And one of the best, worst games I think I've ever seen. <laughs> There's Butler who knocks it in. Jeremy Lin. And Gibson with the rebound. You know, aggressive to shoot and aggressive to score are two very different things as Jimmy Butler's sweet backdoor. So when you take a look, what happens now is certainly the seeds of what we'll see next year. Or it could be just more practice, Kevin. Or it could be more <laughs> practice. <laughs> you never know sometimes. And here they go with Butler the other way, and he'll there to meet them, and 322 to go. And that's a tough thing for this young team. They don't have that kind of experience. They can't lean on Kobe Bryant to close them out. A little more crowded up front for the guys to drive for Chicago. Here's Butler. And up and off, and a foul called. Biggest issues for this Laker team. 29th in defensive efficiency, 29th in field goal defense. Uh, tonight, against Chicago, limiting them to 42%. So their defense has, in some ways, fueled the offense in what has been a pretty good offensive show. Butler inside. Gasol to Butler. Perseveres and gets the shot away. And he was fouled as he was going up. Butler picked up by Clarkson. 16 points for Butler. Eight have come in this third. Butler leads Chicago in scoring at 20 points a game. Joe Kane Noah. Massey. That's what we're going with, Massey. Yeah, I think Byron Scott's going to make sure that he locks this tape inside a mobile device for Jordan Hill to watch more than sports finds. Yeah. Take a look at your highlights tonight, Jordan Hill, all in the lane. Lakers have lost nine in a row. If they lose tonight, they would equal their longest losing streak since the team moved to Los Angeles in 1960. Lynn over Gibson. Rebound by Butler. A minute and a half to go in the third. Jimmy Butler. The All-Star puts it in. And he's got a game-high 22 with 14 authored here in the third quarter. All picked off by Butler. He will sail in for two. One-point game. 
Derrick Rose checks in immediately, engages himself defensively in that pressure on the ball that was lacking in the first half, turns into a turnover on that possession. Jimmy Butler carving his way inside for the deuce. Rose against Hill. Outside to Butler. The drive across the lane with the double pump and a foul on Los Angeles. And it's off to Hill, who's picked up by Noah in the drive and the turnover. Seven point game. Noah. Butler, the triple. Bullseye! Four point game. Under a minute to go. Clarkson will inbound. Noah on the ball. Wild looking throw. And Hill controls it, and LA's got it. And they double him, and they take it away again. Butler will get it from Brooks. 33 for Jimmy Butler, the All-Star. Brooks with the assist. Clarkson into Noah for the fire. Rebound, Noah. Chicago's got a 20. Rose inside for the tie. Gasol, Paul Gasol has tied the game. Hill for the win. We go to overtime. Lakers come in, having lost nine in a row. Butler on the move and fouled as he was taking that journey on the right wing. And in double overtime, the Los Angeles Lakers have beaten the Chicago Bulls and end a nine-game losing streak. Game night in the Windy City tonight in the house that Jordan built at another sold out house here at the United Center in Chicago. And they love what they saw if you're a Bulls fan, including Benny in game one on Saturday. And now the stage is set for game two. Kid pointed out the paint touches in game one. That has been a staple for the Bucks, And that goes, Jimmy Butler hits the first one and a foul. What a story Jimmy Butler has been this year, and he put in 25 in game one. Butler on the cut. Oh, great pass, great finish, and a foul. Jimmy Butler flying through the lane. And one for Jimmy Butler. Middleton has that blocked, and Butler stays in bounds, gives it to Brooks. Big play by Butler. He seems to come up with big plays. Butler again on the take, and Butler finishes with the left. I mean, this is that was a superb pass by Aaron Brooks. A double team showed it, showed that he was throwing it to the top, but he fired to Jimmy Butler, cutting down the middle for a nice layup. Here's Butler trying to get past Middleton and a foul with five on the shot clock. And give Mike Dunleavy Jr. a lot of credit knocking down his three point shots. And Jimmy Butler again with the cut. Bucks know they just need experience. The more experience they get, the more minutes they get. They're hoping to extend this series. Their advantage is youth, and if they can stretch this series out, get a win, move this thing at least to a game five as Butler buries the jumper with the answer. Noah, always a great passer, looking for someone, kicks it to Butler. Butler on the attack, up and under he goes! And a foul! Jimmy Butler! Bulls have been a great defensive team, going up top, Butler catch, finish! What a great catch! That ball was headed out of bounds, but Butler flying high. And I give the assist to Rose. Brian, that play was made by Mike Dunleavy because he hit the three before. He came off that screen, and two guys ran with him, leaving Jimmy Butler wide open. Butler knocks down the three. Jimmy Butler delivers a game-tying three-pointer for Chicago. Butler driving, and he's fouled. Oh! My fault, fellas, man. I gotta step up and make it, man. He can't guard me, man. He's too little. <laughs> Who's too little? That's the one I like. He can't <laughs> guard me. He's too little. Michael Jordan's statue stands regal outside the United Center. The Bulls fans are hoping this team has that championship medal this year. By the way, it's been 29 years on this day. Ooh. Butler goes strong. Jimmy Butler and a foul. Right out of the timeout, Jimmy Butler attacks the rim. That was nice. And a 10-0 Chicago run. The Bucks needed one of those to fall. 
You can see they've missed their last eight field goal attempts. Defensively, try to get a stop right now and get a bucket in there. Is Jimmy Butler. Oh, he's feeling it, folks. Jimmy Butler. Butler. Oh, my goodness. Jimmy Butler. Do what you do, son. And they are all smiles in Chicago. After a grind them out first half, the Bulls win game two. Jimmy, 31 points. You were attacking the basket, hitting threes, playing defense, getting to the free throw line. You were doing it all out there. What has been your mentality in this postseason that's led you to be so dominant? Be aggressive. I think that's what my teammates and my coaches look for me to do. And when I have Derek in my ear telling me to be aggressive each and every play, man, it really makes it easy. This was a physical game, an emotional game. There was technicals called. There was a lot of physicality. What does your focus have to be as a team to control the emotions in this kind of environment? Be smart. Um, it's playoff basketball, so that's what we expect. But um, we need every player that we have for the rest of the playoffs, so we don't want anybody to get injured and or be ejected. Now you get a couple days, and then you head to Milwaukee. It's drivable distance. Your fans will be able to travel. How much of an advantage can that be for this team? Um, it can be huge, but uh, it's still on the road. Um, we still have to rebound, play defense and, and make shots and uh, if we do that I think we can get up three up. Congratulations. Brian. We welcome you from the BMO Harris Bradley Center downtown Milwaukee Wisconsin but it's a short drive from Chicago and Bulls fans have other ideas with a chance to close it out here today. The Bulls they are here and they are looking like a title contender again of three games to none in this best of seven, they are a win away from advancing to the second round. Another turnover, Michael Carter-Williams. And Jason Kidd has this team locked in defensively to be young guys, and that's what you like about it. And there's Jimmy Butler, and listen to the crowd. For Jimmy Butler, he's a bull, but he played here in Marquette. And Jimmy Butler goes to the hole and gets the friendly roll. All tied at 13. And Butler still on his way to the rim. That's just great anticipation from Jimmy Butler. Reading the play. Look at the speed of Jimmy Butler. Really, a silver had no chance of catching him on that breakaway dunk. Good dish by Middleton there to set up MCW as Butler with a response. He is so good. I mean, just watching him play. He's becoming the total package offensively. He can post up. He can drive it. Wild shot there. Got a chance to get one up here. Then a Kumpo flying down the floor. Mayo did he get Oh, Jimmy Butler. He nice. Speaking of running the floor. Man. But look at his teammates coming out to meet him. Noah gives it up. Butler is fouled. Goes right into Dudley. Rose has been quiet. 11 minutes. Five points in that first quarter. Here's Butler dumps it into Gibson. And at the rim, Gibson finishes with ease. Bayless short. Got to the rebound. Let's see if the Bulls have an answer. They're down 12 with 340 left in the second quarter. That's one of those misses that you, if you're Jason Kidd, you say took that one off because they moved that basketball around. And there's Jimmy Butler with a three point shot. His second three, Jimmy Butler. Gives them big points when they need it. It's been that kind of year for them. Career highs in points with 20. Rebounds, nearly six. Career high in assists as well this year. Turnover. Great play, Dunleavy to Butler. Butler fixes it. And Meritage finishes. Just a second field goal for Middleton. You can tell there's been a, a focus on him today as Butler rises high, gets the friendly bounce. Still a seven-point lead for Milwaukee. Down into Butler. Got Middleton off his feet, off the window, Jimmy Butler. Let me tell you something. You got to watch that play again and really analyze it, Brian. I mean, he got a great post-up against Middleton. Quick turn, then gathered, pump fake, and a leaner off the glass. That was difficult. He has been the offense. 18 first-half points for Butler. And there's a turnover. Miritich jumped the lane, gives it to Butler on Bayless, and a foul. Butler will shoot free throws. Chance of let's go Bulls here in Milwaukee. A lot of fans in red to make the trip. Plenty of time. Jimmy Butler, two on the clock. Butler, oh, the window! Point one left, dribble it out. Jimmy Butler, it is your half here today in Milwaukee. 23 points for Butler. Rose. 
And then Akumpo. He'll run the break himself. He's very good at it in those long strides. Dunleavy, good defense. Jimmy Butler stops and fires a three. Butler keeps it rolling. What a game he's having. 26 points. He's hit four three-pointers today. Oh, man. He's the one guy, though, that can take a shot because he's feeling it. Jimmy Butler again with another buck for 28. The finish with the left for Jimmy Butler. The Bucks' largest lead was 12 as Jimmy Butler rounds one home. 30 points for Jimmy Butler tonight. Boy, Chicago scrambling here. Shot clock down to eight. Oh, what an answer right there, Jimmy Butler. <laughs> what a game. Bayless across. Middleton. No. Henson keeps it alive, but there's Rose. Rose has scored nine of the last 12 for the Bulls. Dish. Gasol. Foul. Count it. Gasol having a huge second half here. He's gone for 15 points. Got a chance to tie it up. He does. That was a lightning strike. Middleton guarded by Butler down there. Dudley up top. Oh, Bayless got a clean catch. Oh! It's the Cleveland Cavaliers on the road facing off against the Chicago Bulls in Game 3 of this Eastern Conference Semifinals. All tied up at one game apiece. And I thought that was a very interesting decision to keep Shumpert in the lineup who's played so well and keep Smith on the bench. Well, the Cavaliers, the start in Game 2 was magnificent. Tom Thibodeau said the story of the game was the first quarter. They smashed us. James, well defended. Can't hit. Fight for the rebound, Noah. We talk about setting the tone early. They go to LeBron on the block, but a good job by Jimmy Butler. Setting the tone defensively and not giving him any answers. Bad pass from Irvin. Butler drives and finishes. And that's the first lead change of the series. Again, both teams winning wire to wire in the two games in Cleveland. James drives. Difficult fall away shot, no good. Mozgov the rebound. Mozgov shot blocked, ball taken away by Butler. Butler back, Dunleavy for three. So obviously with the Spurs out, we'll have a new NBA champion, but no matter who wins the championship, and it's going to be a long stretch since the previous title, it's certainly fun for the fans as James comes the other way. Ball deflected out of bounds. Butler said, I have to play better after game two. Bodies up, James falls down, picked up by Butler, tripped up by Smith. <laughs> J.R. Smith said, I didn't foul him, but he was right in his path and picks up his second. Now, Chicago has a foul to give. There's about a two-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. James spins, pumped away by Butler. Butler drives at Delavadova and misses the layup. Gibson on the follow. James backing in against Butler, pumped away by Butler, second time he's done that. He's got to go right at it. James may have gotten away with a push, gets it to Thompson. Thompson misses, James keeps it alive. Butler comes down with it, and a foul on James. Butler landed on top of him. James created the initial contact. Shepard left open. And Shepard this time can't hit the sole. Grabs the rebound. Plus eight on the boards for Chicago. Thus far, two minutes remaining, first half. Butler, Gasol is open and connects. There's James, just three of 13 from the field, has the seven assists, four rebounds. But Jimmy Butler has made it very difficult. Dunleavy catches and fires. Rebound rolls, back up, blocked by Thompson. Butler puts it up and puts it in. What a sequence. Well, the Bulls back up by one. Butler inside, gets a soft touch. You know, we talk about the poor shooting. Again, a lot of it for both sides has to do with some really physical, intense defense. The Cavs defense has improved all season long. Wild shot from Irving, and Gibson with a rebound. Butler sees an opening, drives to the basket, banks it in. James lost it, gets it back, six to shoot, backs in. Difficult shot blocked by Butler, and the rebound, and then fouled by James. Great hustle from Jimmy Butler. You know you're getting it done defensively when Scottie Pippen stands up and claps for you. This is outstanding energy and effort.
Great job of defending without fouling and then pursuing the basketball. That's the most improved play in basketball this year. James pulls back. James drives on Butler. Locked, but a foul called on Butler. Butler can't believe it. That looked like a good defensive play. To me, that doesn't look like a foul. That's good defense by, by Butler. Butler isolated guarding James. James drives out, and here comes the help. Knocked away, stolen as Meritage comes up with it. James stripped and stolen by Butler, his fifth steal of the game. Butler felt the contact and wisely threw it up in the basket. And they're going to call in the active shooting. Not giving up on the play, having active hands, and then high IQ basketball. Realizes J.R. Smith behind him, takes the contact, going to the line for two. Butler's jumper banks it in. Game tied again, five and a half remaining. Butler fires a three, puts it in. Jimmy Butler with his first three-pointer of the night. The Bulls have been struggling from downtown, but that puts them up by three. Irving on the drive, sidesteps Butler, layup won't go, rebound Butler. Good defense. Rolls going underneath the screening roll, and then the last time on the repick, they switch. Butler does his job. James drives. Leans in, lost it, and a foul called on Butler. Looked like he grabbed him. Looked like some contact with the body. These things alter not only games, series, and your profession. High drama here in Chicago with 41.5 seconds remaining. Butler drives. Butler gets inside, stops, layup is good. Great adjustment from Butler, and the Bulls back up one. Timeout Cleveland. James drives down the lane, running layup, he missed it. Gibson the rebound and is fouled immediately. Dave Blatt not using his timeout here. Do the Bulls foul in this position? To me, I foul. I'm not going to allow them to get a three-point off. James looking back to Smith. Smith for three. It's good. J.R. Smith from downtown ties the game with 10 seconds remaining. Dunleavy looking. Finds Rose. Rose trying to get open. Fires away. Bang! It's over. The Bulls win at the buzzer. It's the Cleveland Cavaliers. Facing off against the Chicago Bulls, game four of the Eastern Conference semifinals on a rainy, cold spring day in Chicago, but it's Mother's Day as we welcome you to a sold-out United Center. So James, guarded by Butler, who said, I did my job in game three. I contested most of his shots. I tried to make it difficult for him, and even though LeBron James had 27 points, it was not an easy night for him as Butler is an outstanding defender and did do a solid job. Butler turns, fires, and hits. He struggled in the first half shooting the ball in game three. It was one for nine, but boy, did he make up for it in the second half scoring. And again, his defense all game was a big part. As Butler hits a three. James knocked away by Noah. Dunleavy tracks it down. But he also said that the hamstring is still very tight and very sore. He's another guy who was walking very gingerly when I saw him. Off the turnover, thank you, Lisa. Rose drives hard to the basket, left-handed, banks it in. Holding his ground, moving his feet, and then Noah, at the right time, comes in there and digs it out. And then it leads to Rose. Look how he shields the ball with his body that's a beautiful finish butler a couple of jab steps drives on jones running shot is good there's the improvement of jimmy butler offensively this year oh well, it shows how hard he worked in the offseason he has certainly added an offensive arsenal to his game mike tips has one of my uh, my most favorite sayings in coaching the magic is in the work and in jimmy butler's case it's shown time and time again. There it is again. And he looks at Tom Washington and said, that's a foul after hitting the difficult shot. Gibson just gets it off in time. And James with his third rebound. Coast to coast for James. Awkward shot. Again, Butler played him well. 
but they couldn't secure the rebound. J.R. Smith steps in, way off. And a loose ball foul is going to go against Gibson. Although that shot was not one of his finest. James. Five to shoot. Mozgov handling it. Now back to Shepard. Shepard tries to get inside. Knocked out of the bounds. Seven tenths of a second remaining. James steps back. Can't hit. Noah tips it out of bounds. And it's still going to be Cavaliers ball. A new 24. Thompson, he is just relentless. James again, aggressively driving to the basket. Shepard gets it inside. And a three-second violation. Offensive three seconds called on Mozgov. I give Memphis all the credit. Their backcourt defense has been great. They've stayed big. They pounded the glass. James gets inside. Triple team can't hit. Kendrick Perkins, who just entered, throws it up and in. No excuses. Didn't want his coach to make an excuse for him. And he's out there battling. Shot Gibson blocked it. James there kicks it out to Jones. Perkins mishandles it, picked up by Butler. Butler head of the pack, Jones trailing, and Butler throws it down. A costly turnover, cuts it to a four-point game. Dunleavy, that's a three. That's got to feel good for Mike Dunleavy. 0 for 5 in the first half, his first points of the game. It looks to me like both teams are just worn out that timeout by david blatt came at the right time for both teams it just doesn't look like there's an energy and the injuries are just mounting for both teams six to shoot butler spins nice turnaround jumper line drive eight straight points by the bulls they're up six delavadova bad pass stolen by dunleavy finds butler butler inside to snell for the finish Beautiful fast break. Rose, Snell, Gibson, Dunleavy, and Butler. Who hits a three. Ties it right back up. Butler with 16. James drives. Butler stays in front. Strips of the ball. Another good defensive play. J.R. Smith comes up limping. Butler. Looking for some room. Thompson chasing him. Butler steps back. Puts up a three. It's good. Jimmy Butler from downtown. 1.5 remaining. James for the win. It's good. LeBron James at the buzzer. Stuns the Chicago Bulls, and the series is tied at two games apiece. It is a playoff doubleheader coming up. We are at the Q Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland for what has developed into a fiercely played second round playoff series. It's the pivotal game five of this best of seven Eastern Conference semifinal. The Chicago Bulls, the Cleveland Cavaliers with the series at two games apiece. And again, Irving got picked off and Rose tried to bank it. Noah grabs the rebound and pops it out. They have a new 24, Butler, Trey ah! Fee. So Noah able to stuff, and the Bulls off to the 4-0 lead. I'll tell you what, Noah's been hurt, and the Bulls have been having a party, and he hasn't been able to dance. If you're a Chicago fan, you love the fact that Noah came out first getting an offensive rebound, and then going up strong with the dunk. Butler on the pull-up, yes! The Bulls 8 of 11 from the field. Cavs just 3 of 11. Shumper goes at Heinrich. The feed from Moscow. Crowd looking for a foul. See Thompson trying to pick up the charge. Butler is Hammer. And he obviously hurt him. That's kept alive by the Bulls. Butler. Over Moscow, able to bank it home. You just have to love Butler's game. You see the improvement. Even his coach Divido told us he did not expect this guy to be a 20-point scorer. Can go to him at the end of the game and his best defender. Great improvement. Don Levy for Gibson. Try to stuff it. He cuffed it. Butler is fouled by Moscow. And Jokey oh. Noah usually one of the better passing big men, but no assists in games three and four, and nothing in that department of the first half. Rose with the steal. James back two on one. Butler 
Nice play by, by Butler. He faked the pass to Rose and then took it all the way. And the Cavaliers want to talk it over. Noah's pass deflected by James. Collision between James and Gibson. Irving on the drive. He scores. Noah, very careful, did not want to pick up his fourth. So Cleveland back with six straight. Here's Butler to the bucket and puts it in. Why doesn't Chicago play that fast? You're the best defensive team, one of the best in the league. When you get a turnover, it's okay to push the ball as fast as you can into what we call the secondary break. Well, there's another three. This time Butler hits it. He now has 15. And one of the balls, the name escapes me, this is guy off the bench. But right in front of the uh, commissioner. Rose does not get the hop. It's tipped home. Of course, I mentioned that, that fight was back in the 90s, and our staff was able to check it out. I mentioned Derek Harper uh -huh. involved for the Knicks, and it was JoJo English. Irving's pass intercepted by Heinrich. Here's Butler, Delavadova back. <laughs> this time, Delavadova very <laughs> carefully holding up. Yeah, Butler. Noah played tightly by Thompson, hands it off. Butler getting it to Noah, who's able to back it home. An 18 5 run by the Bulls. Noah with the pass for Heinrich, finds Butler for three. Yes! What do you know? A back cut, and they get an open shot. Every time they've done that in this game, they've gotten an and one open layups. And right now, they have to rely on their defense to have two fifties. Rose. Butler for three. Yes! Crowd wanted the trouble on Derrick Rose. But that three-pointer brings the Bulls within two with a minute and 15 remaining in the fourth. Now he gets it back to Butler. Can't find the shot. Has to settle for the two with 3.7 remaining. And that will do it. Cleveland takes a three games to two lead. Game six back in Chicago. On Thursday night, LeBron finished with 38 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, and 4 steals. What a night for LeBron James. NBA Wednesday, presented by State Farm, continues from Phoenix, Arizona, where two of the NBA's hottest teams and a pair of up-and-coming scores square off. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Phoenix Suns. Both teams have won three straight. Eric Bledsoe averaging 23 points per game, a career high. He'll be facing off with Jimmy Butler, who was the most improved player in the NBA last year. Elliott to Butler. Great look by Miritich. Bad defense by Tucker, not keeping a body on Butler, but an outstanding feed from Miritich. As a coach, what a luxury to have a guy like Chandler. You don't want to be the only one preaching, but when you have somebody in uniform that can relay your message and hold guys accountable, it's a difference between winning and losing or going home early. Wow, Miritich from five feet behind the three-point line. Good play by Heinrich, knocking it away from Bledsoe, and then the save by Snell. Here's Butler in transition, and he trails the three. It's a seven-point Chicago lead. Again, no Derrick Rose tonight for Chicago. First game he's missed this year despite playing with that orbital fracture and dealing with blurry vision. And seven points now for Jimmy Butler, and it's an eight-point Chicago lead. And went through the legs of Noah, ended up in the hands of Butler, and he hits! Ten points and four of five shooting for Jimmy Butler. And Kirk Heinrich starting for the injured Derrick Rose, who suffered an ankle injury on Monday. Rose is on the trip, could play in the Bulls' next game Friday at Golden State, but it'll be on ESPN. As Bledsoe got up high, came down hard, committed the foul on Butler. That's Bledsoe's first. Yeah, the Suns did a very good job. And Butler, Butler banks it in. Wow. Tough Two. shot. Bledsoe, not sure what that was. He was falling out of bounds, decided to take a shot. Well, he was trying to sell the contact from Heinrich, didn't get the whistle. And Heinrich is playing awfully well in this third quarter. I told Sean he can't have the Cardinals play-by-play, -play, Joe. As Butler nails a three. And a lead back to seven. Butler, and he got Booker off his feet. Butler again gets Booker off his feet. Hits! And a three-point opportunity for Jimmy Butler. What a terrific move. Here's Butler, has 23 points, 7 of 19 shooting. He'll put it on the deck, kiss it home. Left-hander by Butler off glass. Good job out of the pick and roll, attacking the, the paint area. Butler, step back, long two, it's gone! Wow, 
Wow, Jimmy Butler with 27 points. Here's Butler underneath. Out to Gasol. Shot clock at seven. They work it around to Butler on the right side. His three. His there. Butler with 30. And he might have just put the Suns away. 12 here in the fourth quarter. Tucker misses. Ooh, Brandon Knight hit the deck hard flat on his back. Here's Butler with the exclamation point. 32 for Butler. The Suns will fall to 6-5. and five. Chicago improves to 8-3. and three. Great win by the Bulls. Great win by Fred Hoiberg and his team. And Jimmy Butler, when they needed him most, nothing but respect. He's going to turn into a perennial all-star because of his improvement at the offensive end. He can't defer. This is no longer Derrick Rose's team. It's Jimmy Butler's team. He's that good at both ends of the floor. He's got to demand the ball every night. Coaches all t always tell you, the hardest game of any road trip, Mike, is the first game home. And right now, Boston looks lethargic. And that's usually not a word to describe this team at all. Thomas gets inside, blocked by Butler. Second time, Butler with an excellent recovery. His stop would have been an easy two. The sole pass inside. They are so compelling to watch. And last night, a little bit of a slow start, and then all of a sudden they just blew the game open as Butler knocks it down. It is must-see TV watching the Golden State Warriors. Butler. Well defended by Turner, but then commits the foul. He was hoping for a travel. Jumper from Butler. With Rose and this core, when he was semi-healthy, and Rose missed 31 games last year, but they were a championship-level offense. And I think if they get up back to that level again with the defense they play, and beautiful pass by Gasol. They'll be in the hunt again this year. I like your out-of-the-box thinking, but I think you're nuts. Bradley knocks it away. Noah throws it ahead to Butler. Butler had a crowder. And throws it down. Great pass from Joakim Noah. Noah with five assists here in the first half. He's just incredible for a guy that size. Butler against Crowder. And Butler drills it. Winding down the third, eight to shoot. Butler sees an opening, drives. Olenek does it. Nope, they call a foul. Lee, bank shot, misses. Sollinger trying to keep it alive. Boy, Butler took a really hard fall, second time in this game. After trying to tip that ball in, and Bradley wouldn't let him do it. Butler, short shot is good. And this is where you got to know what you want to run. Butler eludes the defense. That's a gorgeous play from Jimmy Butler. Butler with 23. Six-point game. Butler again gets free. Inside, count it, and one. Little hesitation. And then the quick burst. And a chance for a three-point play. He has come so far offensively. Right. Butler to the basket. Shots good. Same play again using that left side. Butler against Thomas. Leans in, draws a foul. And he'll shoot two. Chance to cut it to six with 118 remaining. Butler drives, gets inside, count it, and one. Crowder in the reach. And Butler the continuation. He's got now 31. Butler fakes, goes into Johnson, and draws the foul on what appears to be, I think, a two-pointer. I think he had his foot inside. Butler drives, double team, and draws a foul. And the Celtics, again, after that five-game road trip where they went three and two, they come home. Get an excellent victory tonight and get ready for the Golden State Warriors on Friday. Tough ticket here in Boston. Gasol banks it in. And fortunately, they won't foul anymore. Celtics win their fourth straight game at home and improve to 13-9 and nine on the season. Isaiah Thomas, all 20 of his points in the second half. The Marquette teammates battled all night. Butler had a career-high 36. But not enough for the Chicago Bulls as the Celtics win it 105 to 100. Now there's the United Center, the Bulls' house, where they've won four in a row. They have a chance tonight to make it a five-game sweep first time.
That's been done by the Bulls since 2005. It's the Bulls and the Detroit Pistons here at the United Center tonight. Jimmy Butler bounced to Taj, 15 footer from the elbow. Caldwell Pope raises up and scores. 13 to eight, Butler fires the shot and draws the foul from Pope. Butler fires the jumper and scores. That time he gave Contavious Pope a little bit of his own medicine. There's the lob for oh, Jimmy and he go get it. Same Jimmy play. Butler. We've seen him run that play. It's every game now. Yeah, and Stan Van Gundy is furious. Butler across the lane, layup. Oh, Good. That's just too easy. Too easy. And Contavious Pope is like, who's, who's the foul on? Jimmy. Into the lane. And missed it, but oh. we'll get to the free throw line. Trying to deflect that in on the lob. Oh, oh, poked away and stolen by Butler. He just kept coming. Rose. Ah! Ah! Oh, nice play. Reckon you got to go to Jimmy Butler here against the rookie. And you flip it into him. Butler. A drive. And a whistle and a foul. Got screened big time by Joe. Jimmy Drive score. That was set up by the screen. Right to the chest of oh, Drummond. Driving Jimmy. Shot to a nice move by JB. How about shoot. this new 55 free throw shot between both teams tonight? Eric Rose against Jackson. Rose going to work. Rose, the step back jumper is short. The rebound tapped by Tony won't go. And we go to overtime. 11 seconds left. Derek, a catch out front at the top. Bounce to Jimmy Butler. Butler tripped and then dumps it inside. Powell goes up and scores. Nice play. Nice play by Jimmy Butler. Didn't panic. He lost his dribble, Neil. Looked like he was going to have a turnover. But the last second he saw Powell the saw streak to the basket. Morris looking, looking, looking. Got it into Reggie Jackson. He fakes. He drives. He throws up a shot. It's Whoa. short. He was looking for the foul, and Derrick Rose didn't get it. Butler. Oh, oh. Jimmy G buckets. The G stands for Gets. Woo. Boy, he is something. Get up or get out the way. Ilya Sowen did not want none. Now Butler's turn. Jimmy raises up, kills the jumper. That's, that's Bucket right there. Big time players make big time plays. Now Jimmy again. Butler, jab, step, step back, jumper, gun again! Oh my goodness, he was off balance there. I thought, was, I didn't know if he was going to make that deal. 11 seconds left. Dead lock here, 123. Jackson scoots down the lane, fires a shot, missed it, rebound, pound. I had to smell, he throws it the length of the floor. And the Bulls dodge one there. Here comes Butler, driving, scooping, oh, scoring! Let me get some butter with that roll. I just put it in Jimmy's hands at the offensive end. Four seconds difference in the clocks. Butler starts his move to the right, to the corner, firing, missing, rebound. Tipped out of there, and Detroit has it. They hurry it into the front court. Jackson hangs, fires, nope. Oh, my goodness. Good overtime again. Jimmy against Morris. Derek comes to the screen. Jimmy goes the other way, driving, shooting, scoring. And Jackson threw it away. Here comes Butler again, racing in the layup. Good. good hustle. Good job by Taj Gibson that time. Jimmy. He and Derek have been the show here. Jimmy rising, scoring again. Oh, Jimmy's feeling it. Here's a Butler, a drive, a shot, he's good again. Yeah, good move. Jimmy with 38 in the game. Jimmy went back door on it, got inside. Nope, it wouldn't go, but it's Drummond's sixth. Drummond is gone. Jimmy, good again. He's very high now, 40. 40 for Jimmy Butler. Here comes Derrick. 10 seconds, rolls to the corner. And back out, Jimmy fires a three, hit it. Jimmy, G buckets. That's a big free throw right here. He's got to make this one. He made two. So, 
It's still a one possession game, 147-144. They get it inside, Powell, back out. Jimmy firing, no. And four overtimes. Jimmy shot online. In four overtimes, Detroit prevails 147-144. So these two teams have played nothing but overtime games through the first two meetings. Now tonight the Bulls go for two in a row at home here at the United Center. They welcome in Indiana Central Division Bow. They're working on a two game streak of their own and they're led by one of the NBA's very best, Paul George. It's the Bulls at 17 and 12 versus the Pacers at 18 and 12. Butler running in, shot no, but a foul call. Butler, baseline, whip back out, Portis steps up inside the three point. There you go. I'll tell you what, he, he can make that shot all night long, hit the three, can post up. And back out, Brooks, long three, bang, bang, bang. Bottom of the net, a timeout taken. By Indiana. Out of the perimeter, lob to Jimmy, and the whistle and a foul. That'll be on Stuckey. Paul George. Stolen by Jimmy. Butler on the run, layup good. Another steal for Jimmy Butler. Stuckey wants to run, but he's got nobody to run with. Oh, give me that again. Sell. He didn't learn the first time when Tony blocked his shot. Butler back to Brooks, firing, oh, scores a home run ball by Aaron Brooks, and he continues his streaky scoring. George, a miss. Jimmy, a rebound. This has been a good half for the Bulls. 45-38, they lead by seven. Butler back to Powell, he fires, that's good. Butler against Paul George, fires the shot, Jimmy scores. Butler. Jimmy Butler, for just him. his uh, second field goal of the game. The salt, back to Jimmy, with go, but a foul on Paul George. Jimmy, slices in, he scores. Nice strong move that time. Good screen by Portis, enabling Jimmy to turn the corner and get to the rim. McDermott. Back to Butler, driving, shot good, and a foul. That's a strong move right there by Jimmy. And that time well, he, he rearranged forceful. himself in midair, did Butler. Uh, he went right to the rim. Even, even when their defense has been good, it puts so much stress on you because you don't get anything at the offensive end. Even a shot, there's a takeaway by Jimmy Butler. And a loose ball foul, Monte Ellis. On Monte Ellis, seven-point lead, Jimmy Hard drive, oh. right in, blocked, but a foul, and Jimmy forcing the issue. They've got to get some movement. I mean, that time you left Powell with the ball by himself, nobody's cutting to the basket, but they got to get something quick here. Jimmy spinning in, shot short, but a foul on Solomon Hill. Jimmy, good again. 89-86, a ton of time. They're going to stop here, though. Good defense. Turned over by George Hill. Yep. You got to have this possession here. Oh, yeah. Aaron had a step outside. Butler. No. He got it. Oh, it's Jimmy Butler living right. To three. He's living right. That thing hit the rim, kicked up in the air, oh, hit the my rim goodness. again, and dropped. Paul George bounces it in to Monte Ellis. Down the lane, runs it up, and scores. Yeah, too easy. Aaron Brooks gets it in. Jimmy Butler. At the top, oh, and crossover, down the lane, driving, scores! Oh, wow, that's a nice move. He crossed Paul George over. Woo, he crossed him over. Jimmy Butler coming up huge down the stretch. Butler with back-to-back -back field goals, one of three. This one a twisting drive inside. He's got 24 oh, in the game. This. Look at that None crossover. Bigger. He turned Paul George all the way around. And then once he was able to get to the basket, there was nothing LaVoy Allen could do. Paul George against Jimmy Butler, the two stars. 16 seconds. There's about a second difference in the clock, a little over a second in the two clocks. George with eight. George with six. George going to work. 
George circles. Got Kirk switched on him. Monte Ellis, long three. Hit the rim and bounced it. Wow. Boy, that was not what they wanted, no. was it? Butler swerving back door. And then skidded to a stop. Paul George reached in and tried to time up. Butler driving. Oh, let me get some butter with that roll. Jimmy G buckets. Boy, I'll tell you. He's won this duel with Paul George tonight. That was big time there. Monte Ellis puts it in drive, drops it back. Monte Ellis out of the corner. Mark. And the rebound, Solomon Hill. Back to Monte Ellis, wow. and he knocked it in. Second chance opportunities. That was a big rebound by Hill. Wow. And then Monte Ellis with just his fourth in 19 tries, but none bigger than that. Got to get that rebound. Now, Brooks, Butler. Look, look, look. They get it to Powell. Lob, Jimmy. Game time! Game time! Jimmy what a pass! What a pass oh by Powell to Saul! Woo! The Saul Unbelievable! The and Jimmy batted it in one Go one get it! Jimmy Butler, go get it! Oh, my! I'll tell you what, Powell, it was a touch pass to the rim. That was a, that was a great play out, out, of the, out of the break. Watch that this. That is a well-designed play. Watch this. Here's Powell, and he just turns and throws it. And he knows Jimmy's going to go get it, and he just taps it up. Unbelievable play. Wow. Still 1.2 seconds Watch Paul George. Left. Watch Paul George. Paul George kind of got himself out of position, and Jimmy with a nice tap. George Hill bursts into the front court. They lob to the rim. Oh, and Paul George went up. Not tonight, Paul George. Not and tonight. No whistle. Drive home safe in Chicago. Beep, beep. Happy New Year, too. Frank Vogel is not, he's not wishing no. you a happy new year. He thought there was contact. Yes, he didn't like that call. They ran the same play. Yes. Now watch. Set the screen up. Freeze it. Now Jimmy's beat. Jimmy's beat right now. Go ahead. And there it is. Jimmy gets back. And they could easily call the foul on Jimmy. They didn't do it. They did not. So. Bulls escape in overtime. Here's the final play again. Jimmy got a hand on it. And Paul George wow. comes up short. Same play. Yeah, same. Well designed by both coaches. But the Bulls win in overtime. Well, this afternoon, the Bulls, winners of three straight, trying to keep on rolling. They've been playing with some great energy, and their bench has been absolutely devastating to the opposition, and they'll have to be at their best today. It's the Toronto Raptors, a very good basketball team. It's the Bulls at 19 and 12 versus the Raptors at 21 and 13. Bulls have won three in a row. Raptors have won two straight. Gasol. Uh, the team just refused to come out and put a hand in here when he's out there. And well, I, think gonna, a, I think a lot of it deal is though the big guys are just lazy. Butler a drive and a miss. Rebound, Nico. Lob Jimmy and he funneled it in. They just lost out. Jimmy that time. They were chasing the ball. Kamari Carroll. Butler. And he gets a nice driving shot to go off the window to begin the quarter, and uh, Jimmy trying to get himself untracked. Jimmy Butler to Powell, wide open 17-footer. Again, Valanciunas chooses to stay in his zone underneath the basket and not help out on that pick and roll. And we'll see Powell in another, another 15-foot jump shot, wide open. Jimmy Butler, another driving layup. Butler. Fifteen-foot jump is good, and Jimmy starting to assert himself. Had a tough first half. Gasol inside Butler. Nope, but a foul. And Jimmy is going to work back to Butler. JB turns baseline, fires, scores. And Jimmy right now is asking for the ball every time down the floor. Well, why not? And he's got ten points here in the quarter. Lowry, he lines one up. That's way off, but. Rebound, Valanciunas back up and taken away by Powell Gasol. He thought he got fouled. 77-62. Butler again a drive, and that time it curls around the rim and yeah. drops. And if you're Fred Hoiberg, I'm going to ride Jimmy this yeah, quarter. Absolutely. Jimmy gallops in again. Oh, he gets that one little hop. 
Go to Jimmy Butler if you want a chip. Butler inside, pump fake, score, oh, and a foul. That's just pure strength and determination right there. Rosen's been quiet for a while. Lowry out of the game. Butler hangs, fires, scores. Boy, he is just There's torching me. people. Yeah, they rolled Jimmy up. Butler with 23. Portis, he goes inside and scores. You're not getting no flopping here on a Sunday. You got to get up and be strong. Jimmy ducks in. Shot good off wow. the glass. That was a tough, tough shot by JB. Butler comes at Ross into the lane. Scoop with a left hand and scores. He jackknifed right on in. Back to the 11-point lead. Butler leaner. That won't fall. But uh, he'll get to the free throw line. Foul. 103-91. No lead early has been safe in this game. Bulls' biggest lead, seven. Rafters' biggest lead, 15. And there's Jimmy Butler again. And Butler, what a monster. He's got 31-29 in the second half. Lowry dances back. Fires missed it short. Uh, rebound popped out to Taj. Butler. You see, they got a wall on Jimmy Butler. Miritich, not on Nico though, and he splashes one down. It's going to even get a hand up. Who's going to let him shoot that? Now they need to score. They put it in Butler's hands. Jimmy cruises. Stop, pump fake, jumper, good off the glass. And they have not been able to do anything with JB here. Are in the you second kidding half. me? He is. I mean, he just said to the Bulls, give me the ball and get out of my way. Here's Butler again, loose into the lane to Powell. Wide open, shot good. Jimmy is just, now that was set up because Jimmy was able to get to the lane. Now Butler against DeRozan. Jimmy for three, got oh, stop it, JB, stop it. I mean, he has single-handedly put this team on his shoulders and said, let's roll, Jimmy. Driving, shooting with a left hand and scoring. Yeah, he is wearing the Raptors out. Well, I, I mean, you got to put it in his hand, Stacy, every time. And he just is, say, he's wearing them out. Set a screen and let him go to work. Jimmy hangs, fires, missed that one. Rebound, back oh, up. Oh, that's slow. a big time rebound. Each one more. Backside. Nobody big time saw rebound. Him. He came flying in there. That and is a able big to rebound. score on the putback. He ties the game at 109. Lowry loose behind his back and poked away. 13, Lowry trying to spin in. Lowry, the turnaround is going. That's a Finish. tough shot. Tough shot. You got to give it to him. Good defense by Ethan Moore. Absolutely. Nothing he can do about that. Stayed in front of him and made Kyle Lowry take a difficult shot. Butler. Raises up, fires. Oh, Jimmy G a buckets. Three and a foul. The G stands for gets. Oh, that's a three and a foul. That's a killer. Jimmy raises up, squares up, raise up, and one. Oh my goodness! Big time players make big time plays. Neil Funk, Lowry to Damari Carroll, fires a three, missed it. Rebound, Valanciunas dumped it. Yeah, get the free throw shooters. Five ball to the free throw left, and they get it in, and that's Jimmy Butler. This will be a 40th. If he makes, he does. No fouls. Don't foul. DeRozan in a hurry. DeRozan spins, falls, fires, in and out, no good. Game over, drive home safely. Beep, Old beep. Come from 15 Woo! down. 15 down and win the game. Wow. Gut One, check time. 115, 113. They do it in regulation behind an all time performance. Look at that camaraderie out there. Butler. You don't think everybody was in tune to this game? You didn't think everybody wanted to win that game right there? That shows you right there how hard this team wanted to win this game. Heart, hustle, and muscle, Chicago. That's what it's built on. Woo! Well. I wouldn't even ask you how you did that because that'd be a ridiculous question. But tell me about your mindset, Jimmy, coming out after getting beat up a little bit, team-wise and physically yourself there in the first half. Uh, just be aggressive. Uh, we went back in the locker room, and I, I told my guys I'm going to come out being aggressive. They got me the ball, set great screens, and I finished a couple at the rim. It's amazing how quickly things can change, isn't it, when you get a couple of shots to go down like that? 
Uh, definitely. But like I said, man, it, it helps that I got shooters on the floor. Nobody helps off of them. Uh, Powell setting great screens, popping. You got to guard him. When you got to guard all five people on the floor, I get a couple of layups. Well, you know you passed MJ here. He had 40 points in the second half. That's an all-time don't, franchise don't, record. Don't, do not compare me to him, man. <laughs> I don't want to be compared to him. I'm not comparing you. I'm just, just saying just you passed him. Be me. <laughs> Well, you were pretty good today. You also uh, guarded their two best players, Lowry, to start the third, and then uh, DeRozan for a good portion of the fourth quarter. Uh, that's my job, play defense. Um, I got to go down there and score at times, but I got a can. Stop missing free throws late. You going to fly the airplane home? Uh, yeah, I wanna, <laughs> y'all want us to have another game or not? Now there is the friendly confine, the United Center, as the crowd comes in tonight hoping the Bulls can continue their winning ways. They go for five straight tonight. They do it against the Milwaukee Buck team that is really searching for some answers here in this early NBA season. Goes back to Gasol, to Piritich. Ball fake. And Gasol, the offensive rebound. Butler for three. There you go, catch and shoot. That's a good. Offensive rebound by Pau Gasol. The Bulls are going to have an advantage inside in the front court because they're so big. Their big guys should be able to have a field day offensive rebounding. There's a steal by Jimmy Butler to keep that steal streak alive. And he, I'll tell you what, boy, he really plays the passing lanes. Butler shot up and good. Just powered his way in. He just, just blew right by Jabari Parker. He's three for four. Taj is three for three. Jimmy is beautiful. Wow, that is a, that's a strong move, and Jimmy's Jimmy's carrying it over from Toronto. Attack. Butler, fake, and then back. Jimmy to the baseline, and a whistle. And that's an illegal defense call. Butler, get nice. the system. One time he fake coming over off the screen, the dribble handoff, and cut back door. Here's Gasol out of the wow. corner. Bang, bang, bang. That's a oh, well, that goes. That's all good again. That's like shooting fish in a barrel. He, teams tend to leave him out there about 17 feet away, and that's a free throw for him. They'll get it. They'll get it. The Butler get it. They'll get that play at least twice a game. Is anybody reading the scouting report? Apparently not. Jimmy, a little jab step. Now the drive. Right on the end with a left hand. Good again. Tell you what, Jimmy is playing with so much confidence. Well, he's got 20. They're going to leave Powell in that same spot all night long. Jimmy. Shot good. Right there. He's going to get to the line this time for a possible three-point play. He missed the last one, but this time he was able to get it. One thing about Milwaukee, it's almost like they come down and they take turns. You know, you, you take this shot, now I'll take the next one, and you take the next one. Butler, he pours in a three. Jimmy's again just shooting lights out right now. It's 80, 10 70, 14. It's 80 72, Stacey, with 757 left of the third. Butler, Heritage, nice. layup good. That's what he shared of basketball right there. You never remember, this team is a team that can score in the paint. Even though they haven't had a lot of success this year, they lead the league. And points in the paint at 48.2. They're at 44 right now. Saul, drive, shot. Oh, wow. That was a nice move. The only area in which they haven't shot the ball well is the three-point line, but they're 26%. Jimmy a drive. And that time they just cleared it out because Giannis was top side on Powell Gasol that took the help man off baseline away, and Jimmy's able to drive all the way to the rim. Bulls are going to pull away here and take this one home. And you know, we always say, you know, drive home safely, Chicago. Beep, beep. And they Good win. Will, Five they in will, a row. They will dribble out the clock. 117 to 106. The Bulls beat the Bucks. They've now won five in a row. Back in early November, Nico Miritich did in the 76ers with his three-point shooting in a Chicago Bulls victory. Then in Chicago last month, Jimmy Butler powered a Bulls victory after trailing the Sixers by five and a half. Tonight, Butler is scheduled to be there from the beginning despite pain in his right ankle. This will be the third of four meetings between the teams as the 76ers continue a season-long homestand here at Wells Fargo Center. They are set to meet the Bulls right here on Comcast Sports Day. Taj Gibson battling with Landry. 
Bulls here with a fresh 24. That is Butler, and he's teeing up a three. And down it goes for Jimmy Butler, actually a below-average three-point shooter. But he is 12th in the NBA in scoring, and he leads the Bulls, averaging just over 22. Noah, and the challenge for him is to make that shot, and it's not a particularly good-looking shot because his spin is sideways, east to west, as opposed to north and south, if you will. Butler, we saw this earlier in our game open. Is Smith getting a piece of it, but Butler, who leads the team in steals, averaging just under two, converts that steal into two. Yes. Butler goes in and challenges Noel, who is saying, who me? This would be Butler. You mentioned a la TJ McConnell on the floor for the first time. Same for the Chicago Bulls, Bobby Portis, who has come on, the rookie out of Arkansas, number five, as Butler has 10 of the Bulls' 20 first quarter points. Butler again fouled en route to the hoop. We'll see if it was in the act of shooting. That's key here because the Sixers did have a foul to give. As Noel sits out with three personal fouls, Noah immediately connects with Butler, who is also looking for the foul. Noah, we mentioned a very good passer, averages nearly four assists per game. Stauskas for three, cannot make the Bulls pay. The Sixer lead at 18, four and change to play here in the second. Butler inside is fouled. Jaleel spending a lot of time on offense outside of the painted area. Most of his buckets have been facing up tonight as opposed to the back-to-the-basket variety. Ooh, looked like he got away with a walk when he first caught it. Gibson. So Gibson trying to be a co-star to Butler, who's really been the man for Chicago here in the first half. Uh, Butler is fouled. Was he beyond the arc? Landry is the guilty party. Butler, a... First time All-Star last year. Butler stepping away from Landry. 25 for Jimmy Butler. Kirk Heinrich for an injured Derrick Rose. In the backcourt with Butler who takes it from Noah who is subsequently fouled and Jimmy Butler will go to the line for the 17th and 18th times in this game. And that's what he brings. Not only able to initiate your offense but finish it as well when you're in a tough spot. Boy, at this rate, Jimmy Butler going for 50. He's got 29 points. Here he goes again. Covington went to grab him. Yes, he's fouled again. And Jimmy Butler will set a career high. His 20th and 21st free throws of the game. And the Sixer lead at five. The shot clock is unplugged. Butler, who else has it for Chicago? It is for three. Wow, wow is right. Jimmy Butler. He has been gigantic tonight. Stauskas, it comes late. And you pick your poison. That time the ball started with Nick, a shooter in his, in his hand as Butler again drives to the bucket. But Nick finding Robert, shooter to shooter, which one do you cover? Robert that time knocking it down. Butler going in for the slam. We'll call it a semi-slam. But hey, he's got 40 points. That's all you have to know. Butler who's been brilliant against Thompson. Got it done. Jimmy Butler with 42. Butler. Stauskas has him on a switch. Butler got it. Jimmy Butler, a career-high 44. A three on the way from McDermott. Got it. Jimmy Butler, 44 points, a career-high. No Derrick Rose, no Pau Gasol. Taking his team on his shoulders tonight against Stauskas. Yes. 46, adding to his career high, Jimmy Butler. Bulls looking to go in front. Oh. Butler inside, and a foul! 48 for Jimmy Butler, adding to his career high. And the foul on Covington, his sixth. He is just fouled out of the game. We're on the seesaw with the Sixers up one. Butler is fouled! And he's got 50. It's a killer, Mark. It's one thing to give him an open look. It's another thing to foul him. Increase the point total. You know he's got the hot hand. Play him straight up and contest, get a hand up. That time, slow to get around that little turn of the corner by Butler, trying to recover, unable to do so. The first Chicago Bull since Jamal Crawford, April of 2004 at Toronto, to get at least 50. He's got a career high 51, and the Sixers down a deuce. Smith for the tie, and he got it done. Is Smith. Okafor helping Sampson with Butler. They force the ball out of his hands. 
three on the way from Moore, and he's got it. Each one more. That time, Smith for the tie. Yes! Noah thinking about a double team. Butler giving it up. Smith making mischief to the floor. Goes Thompson, claims it, and we're going overtime. Smith again. Noel fighting for the rebound and put it back. Nerlens Noel with eight points. And the Sixers, the first four points of the extra session. Too much for Etwan Moore in there. Nerlens just dominating the smaller guard with the offensive board. Moore attempting a three and he got it. Etwan Moore hitting another three. 90 seconds to play. Smith in a rush. Goes in. Noah. And Noel go for it. Nerlens missing the putback. Here's Butler against Smith. Got it. 53 for Jimmy Butler. Smith, the desperation one. That's going to do it. Boy, the Sixers took forever. And Chicago survives coming back from a 24-point deficit. A majestic performance tonight by Jimmy Butler in a 115-111 victory for the Sixers in overtime. The Sixers had a 24-point margin at one point, the largest blown lead this season for the Sixers. We have another beautiful night in Los Angeles with another sellout in the Staples Center. Welcoming longtime Laker, now Chicago Bull, Pau Gasol. He and Kobe Bryant won two championships together for the Lakers, and this is the first time they've met since those championship days. The Chicago Bulls right now in fourth place in the Eastern Conference. The Lakers in a rebuilding season and saying so long to Kobe Bryant. And here we go. Chicago comes in 25 and 19. They have lost seven of their last 10. This is Paul Gasol outside who nails his first shot against Miami the other night at 19 points and 17 rebounds. Butler with a terrific move inside. How about the, the ability to contort his body? As that gap closed to finish at the rim for Butler. Chicago most recently with the big win. Saturday in Cleveland. The healthy Cavaliers only 37%. And there goes Gasol again. And Powell has put up four. He's hit three and he is feeling it tonight. Kobe, shot clock is down to six. Seven to play in the first. Look at him back down, Butler. Saved by Hibbert. Picked up by Jimmy Butler, who played his college ball at Marquette to the trailing Rose. Aggressively inside for two. That's the Derrick Rose you're used to seeing. Oh, oh wow. what a pretty play. The pass was there, and the tip up a thing of beauty by Butler. As Butler comes up with the steal. Russell defends, and Jimmy finds another two. So Butler is leading an 18-4 charge for Chicago, and Butler has put in six. Sloppy wow. basketball and back-to-back -back possessions there. And this is the frustrating thing if your head coach, Byron Scott, this young man needs to play, but it's been a learning curve, and he's had to develop some things throughout this season. We've been a little bit inconsistent with that three-point shot as Butler knocks down another one. He's in double figures now, five of eight shooting for 10 points. Nice play by Russ, by uh, Butler right there. And people say, well, they're only shooting as a team 43% the field well sometimes your best offense is an offensive rebound which they've done great this season Butler to Gasol he watches that mm -hmm. baby go right down the hole here's Brooks out there with Gibson looking for Gasol he threw over Bryant in the corner they go to Butler who has got the nice gooseneck follow through on the hit oh Kyle Gasol with his fifth assist in this first half to go along with seven rebounds and those 10 points. Brooks oh, Here comes Russell. Ahead to Clarkson. Oh! He's looking on the side with that nice behind the back bout, uh, pass. And here is Brown and picked up by Gasol on the rebound. And what I like about that, they're trying to get the two for one. Butler. Look away. Gibson puts it up and in. Lakers begin the season 1 and 8, 2 and 15, 3 and 21. Then they won 5 of 6. Three in a row in that span and a nice play across the lane by Butler. 
Whew. And how about, again, the touch pass by who else? Butler at the stripe. The Casals numbers are terrific. Listen, 15 points, 10 rebounds, and his sixth assist right there. It's Butler on top and bashes on him off the bench. Gibson with the mid-range, finding it. Here's a three by Kobe. A little bit long and a rebound by Gasol. He's got the double-double. Rose against Bryant. Up high and down hard comes Butler. The other way comes Randall and McDermott is there to defend. Randall across the lane. Oh, that's a bulldog move right there by Randall. He had a nice game against Dallas Tuesday, 16 and 11. A couple blocks. 31 minutes. Waiting rebounder. This is good song. He is just living at that free throw line. Not only able to face up and make jump shots, but distribute the basketball as well. How can you go from starter one year in the Eastern Conference <laughs> All-Star game and have even... numbers just slightly below what he was, yet have 26 double-doubles? Once of the best, there's a McDermott triple. Nice shot by Doug McDermott. Top 10 three-point shooter, as we mentioned earlier, and three-point percentage, and he just gives Chicago their biggest lead tonight. There's a shot by McDermott, the other corner. Another triple. McDermott has found it from distance on two straight trips. Butler almost had it while in midfield. How do you like this lineup? What, what do you think of this roster of Chicago? It takes a lot of criticism in the media. You know, Kobe Bryant has earned his rightful place in history as one of the great two guards of all time. One of the great players of all time. You know, but getting up in age, that is not something that guys that are in their prime, I think, wanted to be a part of. And that's not a criticism of Kobe, it's just reality. As he comes back into the game. Without him here going forward, you know, the Lakers can maybe paint a different picture of what they're going to be and what kind of team they're going to be. But they're going to be very young. And again, young doesn't win in this league. It's tough, David. They need to find a couple of Jimmy Butlers, what they need to find. And also, too, to go along with that young, there's expectations as Butler comes up with another steal. There's expectations for free agents if they oh. are to come here. Nice what a pass! Oh. What a play! Rose inside to Moore. That was perfect. Nice pass there to, to Gibson by Butler. In Los Angeles, Lakers have lost eight straight. They drop to nine and 39. And the Bulls begin their seven-game road trip with a win against the Lakers. The Clippers on deck, and Chicago goes to 26 and 19. And in January, they are 8-7. and seven. And come up with a nice performance. Butler, 26. The Bucks can deal Chicago a likely playoff death blow tonight as Milwaukee closes out its four-game season series with the Bulls in the BMO Harris Bradley Center. Six points in four minutes for young Giannis. Butler drives, kicks, Portis. Giannis back. Inglis. Now the Bucks defensive glass, the Bulls offensive glass is critical as well because the Bulls will get to the glass, they'll get some putbacks, you've got to make sure you block and get that rebound. Wow. Gasol, there was contact, he looked around. After not hearing a whistle, 13 to 8 Chicago. He does have advantages. Jimmy Butler. Boy, Jimmy, just a hustle player right there. He's going to drain it right away. Look out, but guess who counters <laughs> Jimmy Butler? Butler Money has man. four. <laughs> McDermott. You see that off-ball cut? Flies right by his man, right down the middle. No defense. Good cut. Uh -oh. That's a pretty good pass. Gasol finding Jimmy Butler, 43-32 Chicago. Well, it's about the D now, okay, and I talked about it a moment ago. Whoever steps up defensively, well, the, the Bulls did enough, and their offense has been money in that stretch. Chicago, 20 of 38 with the make by Gasol, 53%. The Bucks have dropped down now somewhat severely to under 40% after hitting half of their shots in the first quarter. Yes, Butler scores from some close distance. I'm sure basketball fans are saying, well, what about Derrick Rose? He's injured quite a bit. Would they consider moving him? Who knows? Oh, I, I think they absolutely would. And if he was on the court more, perhaps not, because anybody would have to take a chance on him, Jimmy. 
he's going to be injured. It's just unfortunately the case with Derrick. The full arsenal from Giannis is a full arsenal indeed, as it is with Jimmy Butler. Good ball swings. He hits the three. 17 for Butler. Back clock. Under 10 for Jimmy Butler to Gasol. Man, he's got he's got some moves in there, does he? And soft touch. That was kind of the runner rather than a jump shot. Jimmy right. Butler peeled away. He snuck back on Parker. And Gasol read it beautifully. But see, both guys on the baseline, and, and Jabari got caught on that too. He looked away for a moment, and boom, there was a cut by Jimmy Butler to the strong side. Holiday, smothered, bumbling. Parker was behind the sandwich. Ten on the shot clock. Butler gets three. Well, everybody was occupied. He spins away from innocent. No one to help. Look at that guy. 23, Jimmy Butler. <laughs> Jabari Parker, 20 points for the 11th time this season, the 10th time since the All-Star break. He has the only double-double in the game with 11 rebounds. Holiday, yes. 22 for Parker. 53 points. If you combine them with Giannis tonight, those two have uh, been stunning, as else? has Jimmy Butler, particularly in the second half. Who else? But Jimmy Butler. The Chicago Bulls take the season series three games to one, winning tonight 102 to 98. fans are excited. They saw last night's win up in Cleveland over the Cavaliers. They want to see more of the same. In fact, they're so excited, they want to jump in a layup line and run out there with their hometown heroes, the Hawks, as they get set to take on the Chicago Bulls. Jimmy Butler, a three-pointer to start his night, and he drains it, shooting 44% outside the arc. He's averaged over 20 now, three consecutive seasons. Butler, and he's hit another three. When Jimmy Butler has had two very wide open shots, those are pretty easy three pointers. Butler with two threes early. Looking for a shot inside the ring. And Jimmy Butler has eight. A couple of years ago, he was the NBA's most improved. Well, Jimmy Butler looking for his shot early, 10 first quarter points. Jimmy Butler goes baseline. Basket and a foul on Corver. And an 89% foul shooter pumps this one home. 13th point for Jimmy Butler. 54 to 41 Atlanta. Butler now dealing with Baysmore. Rondo from the corner. And he hits a three. First field goal for Rondo. Butler got Baysmore in the air. Good fake. Both players hit the deck. Butler retrieves. Butler. Good. Butler. Corner three. Jimmy's got 19. That's his third three-pointer. Rondo in transition. Butler right there. And Howard has picked up a third foul. All Millsap. Moving in. High glass. No. Long should have about four seconds coming back. Butler the pull up on the run for three. Ooh, Jimmy Butler. 24. He and Dwayne Wade. Man, what a half they put together. Butler, good on the turnaround. 26 for Jimmy. Well, the Hawks haven't found a way to slow down Jimmy Butler. Uh, they're going to have to make a decision to send another person at him to get it out of his hands. You know, there's an art to feeding the post, Nick, as you well know. And you've got to deliver that ball right now when the man's open. And, if you miss and, the opportunity, it's gone forever. Exactly. D. Wade on the reverse, drops it in. So cagey. 23 points for Dwayne. He's one of, he one of the best scorers in history of his league. He knows his way around the basket. And that oh, is a two. Oh, Jimmy Butler is on it tonight. 31 points with seven minutes to go in the third quarter. And a Schroeder pass taken away. Another hot turn. McDermott with a jam. No sap against Butler. And a errant uh, spin results in a 21st turnover. And a Paul Millsap foul. 
And Jimmy Butler with his first fourth quarter points. That brings him to 35 for the night. Eight seconds on the shot clock for Dennis. Over Lopez. And the runner by McDermott. Brings Chicago within two. They've scored nine unanswered. Millsap working on Gibson. Good battle between those two tonight. Millsap saves it. And Butler intercepts. Schroeder jammed up and stolen by Cannon. Isaiah Cannon. McDermott for three. And he hits it. And they call that a two. A two will take it. Eight points for McDermott. 111 to 103. And this one goes for Butler, giving him 37. Butler <laughs> ends up with a layup. Atlanta posting wins in a back to back at Cleveland last night. 110 to 106. And tonight at home against the Bulls, 115 to 107. Well, the Bulls return home for a game after two in a row on the road. And it's an important getaway game with six straight road games looming. Tonight, it's the Bulls and the Washington Wizards. I tell you, Washington's been kind of an enigma these last few much. years. I mean, you know, they they have a team and the talent to, to be one of the better teams. Go get it, Jimmy. Oh, man, that, I'll tell you, they've been working on that play the last couple of games. Robin Lopez, a very good passer. No pressure on the ball that time by Gortat. Throw it right to the rim. Todd, back the lane, shot up, and right to the rim is good. And nice as, done by Taj. As Morris has an advantage a little bit on one end, Taj has the advantage on the other end for the Bulls with his size. Butler along the baseline. Fights up a shot. That's just a man strength right there. Yeah. This, that's big boy basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Butler to Lopez, back to Butler. Butler races in, pump fake, no, fed out to the corner to Cannon. Cannon up shooting and scoring. There you go. Butler, hard drive right on in and scores. Oh, he's, just, he's just too strong. Right, he's carving him up too. He just, he's not settling for any shots. He's just going right to the rim. Oh. Lob to Jimmy and he's fouled. That's going to be on Kelly Oubre. Didn't see the ball. Good pass by Nico Miritic. Butler against Gortat. And he got yeah. Gortat to bite on the little shot fake. And free throw snap. An 8-0 run by the Bulls. Jimmy back up. Good. Oh, free cheese. Just free cheese. He, he can get anything he wants right now in auto quarter. He's not a bad defensive player. He's got good size, about 6'10. But Jimmy's kind of abusing him. Butler driving and fouled again. It's like give Jimmy the ball and get out the way. Yeah, that's uh, basically the offense, you're right. And double team out to Wade. He faked the three. Now Jimmy the hard drive. Bounce to Nico firing and he scores. Yeah, three cola. The Bulls needed that. It's his second three pointer of the night. Butler. Pump fake. Shot. Around the rim and good. Jimmy G buckets. The G stands for Gets Chicago. 56-53. Jimmy Butler. A huge first half. 21 points, including this one. There's that low pass from the top of the key. And screws one around the rim and good. Wade trying to hide behind Gibson. They just play a little two-man game. And now swung to Jimmy for three. Got it. And that's good, good offense that time. Set up by the screen roll between Taz Gibson and Dwayne Wade. Oh, that move, and then blocked by Gortat. And picked up by Marquise Morris. Two against three, Jimmy stole it right back. And a clean check. Butler, underneath, Wade nice scores. And that's got to frustrate Scott Brooks. The Wizards had numbers on that break and turn it over. They had an open hand, and then... Good defense. Wow. Jimmy went to double. Somebody was open. The shot cleared by Jimmy off the glass. Yeah, Jimmy with a nice little floater right there. They started off defense. The defense creates scoring opportunities, which enables you to get out and run. Oh. Steal by 
Jimmy. Taking cookies. Right oh. scores. Let me get some butter with that roll. Jimmy G. Buckets. Butler with 30 in the game. Jumper. Bang. Right on cue. He's 32 in the game for Jimmy. 32, five assists, and seven rebounds nine, for Jimmy. Nine of 16 from the field now. There's a spin and a finish. Oh, free Nicely twos. done. Free Boy, that was... Taj just screwed himself into the ground with a beautiful spin. Jimmy got oh, it and one. Well, you see Gortat not happy with himself right there, but again, you know, Jimmy is just so strong with his upper body. I mean, he, he thrives off contact. He fights through it, and he's able to finish at the basket. Excellent. Very good. You get a little bit more energy when that ball touches your hand on the offensive end. You got the green light, Neil Funk. 37 in the game for Butler. Jimmy Butler. Nico deep, 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 and he knocked it in. They, they, if they continue to let Nico get wide open like that, they, they may be going away, Neil Funk. Cannonball. This is and Jimmy with a rebound. Miritich. Come oh, on, give me the hot sauce. Nikola Miritich. Now they put the ball in Jimmy's hands. 92 and Butler right now with 37 points. And he stops on a dime. Lopez with a sweet big left hand hook. And Lopez got that old man game. You know, the guy that you see at the health club and you wonder how he makes that hook shot. And you know what, Neil? You can drive home safe to Chicago. Beep beep. 106 95. The Bulls defeat the Washington Wizards. The Bulls move to six and four. The Wizards fall to two and seven. Well, tonight, the Bulls return to the Staples Center as they will face the rejuvenated Los Angeles Lakers. As the Bulls now looking for their fifth win in six games. It's the Bulls at eight and five versus the Lakers at seven and six. Butler circles. Back out, Rondo, a 17-footer. There you go. go. I say it all the time. Rondo doesn't have to make threes, Neil. But if he can consistently hit 15 to 18-foot jump shots just to keep the defense honest, that will really, really open things up. Nick Young fights his way through. Butler scores, though, easily. They're going to pack it in defensively. The Lakers, Neil, they're going to force the Bulls to have to Shoot jumpers. Butler running in, missed it, but a foul called. And that foul is on Nick Young, his first team's first. Russell flips one up. And that wasn't even close. Rondo, the lead pass for Butler against the smaller Russell. He backs him in, drops it off to Rondo. He's wide open, back out to Jimmy. Fake the three in a drive, and another whistle. Oh, count the bucket. Count the bucket as well. Oh, Jimmy G. Buckets. That's, that's going to be two on Russell. Butler off the Lopez screen, hangs from 16 and scores. Jimmy Butler. Butler. Again, uses Lopez. Drop back to Lopez, who fires and scores. And he shows that he's got range. Nick Young accelerates in, slapped one off the glass hard. Nance fought for it. Lopez took it away. Lopez. To Butler, to Taj, nice. and he buggy whips one down with the right hand. That was all started with the hustle with Robin Lopez. He just outworked the Lakers for that loose ball, which led to a bull fast break dunk by Taj Gibson. Oh, that's the one. And that's uh, the Ingram. rookie Ingram. And what was he thinking? Oh, no, that's two fouls now that he is he is committed with guys on the three-point line. He did it with Nico earlier. Butler inside Taj, oh. and he dunks one. And Nick Young had a he bailed out of there, bury boy. his head, Butler. Trying to use Lopez. Oh, good job by Nick Young, who stayed right in front of Jimmy. Jimmy twists his way in and That's scored it anyway. Shot. And then Nick Young well, with well, two I'll fouls. You, Nick Young played, I mean, he played that great. Butler raises up from 15 and scores. And Jimmy continues his stellar play. He's got 19 in the first half. Butler. Ran oh, right. He just overpowered oh. Mozgov and the other defender. Looked like the great Walter Payton right there. Just run. He ran over Mozgov. And to Russell. Russell, tough shot. Mozgov tipped it up and they back tap it, but right to Jimmy Butler. Butler running in, shot up and good. Butler against Angle. He froze him and beat him badly. 
Now Cannon open, and that's good. Bang, bang, bang. And that was set up by Jimmy's move at the top of the circle. Russell to Randall, and uh, the Bulls on the turnover. Cannon, long three, that won't go. Jimmy tips it in. Good inside position by JB. Jimmy shovels to Lopez. He fires short, and Taj, oh, another Taj. rebound. Out working. Back to Jimmy, running him with a left hand and scores. Well, how about that fake by Butler that time? He faked like he's gonna give the ball to Taj Gibson and put it up with the left. Jimmy with 27 points. Butler weaves his way in and uh, shot up and good again. He's got contact, loves contact. Now they just have no answer for Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler, a one-man wrecking crew, dunks oh, the ball. He just overpowered. Look at Clarkson. He's yeah. talking to Black. Well, Clarkson, Clarkson talks to everybody. Yeah, I mean, he airballed the shot and then acted like he had it. Butler, the veteran dang on him. Todd comes out to set a screen. Jimmy goes the other way. Jimmy threw the traffic and threw the foul. Clarkson up shooting. That's short. He continues to have a woeful night. He was the other half of that tandem we talked about in the open. One of 11, and he's been non-existent tonight. Butler, oh, he flashed in and laid oh, it home. He just turned the corner. Julius Randle had no idea what he was doing out on Jimmy Butler. He came out, closed out slow. Jimmy blew right by him. Carson didn't want to shoot it. Young will and miss it. And the rebound to Rondo. Flipped ahead to Butler. Butler into traffic and scores. And Jimmy's just out on the playground by himself. Yeah, he is right now. And Butler <laughs> with a big-time game. He's got 37. 14 on the shot clock. Out of the corner, Nico. No, Jimmy I'll right tell you, there. Jimmy, tip it Jimmy saved Nico. That was not yeah, a good did. shot. That was not a good shot there. Jimmy just happened to be there in that offensive rebound. Put it in Jimmy's hands, which they've done. And let him orchestrate. Rondo up to screen. Jimmy bump back to Rondo. Drive, scoop, oh, score. Oh, let me get some butter with that roll. Rondo, number nine. That's Jimmy setting that up because all the attention was focused on him. Young fires, missed it. And the rebound, Miritich ahead to Butler. Jimmy will grab and foul. You can drive home safely, Chicago. 21.4 left. Jimmy Beep. at the free throw line. You know, they, they've needed every, every one of these baskets. You know, he has 40 points. Russell, deep, no tap to Miritich. That's a big win for the Bulls. And they the Bulls coming from behind, down by 10, end up winning. 118 to 110 as they defeat the Lakers and the Bulls now improve to 9 and 5 while the Lakers fall to 7 and 7. There's a look at the United Center and tonight the Bulls can climb back to 500 and they are looking for some consistency, four quarters worth of it as they host Brooklyn. It's the 15 and 16 Bulls versus the 8 and 22 Brooklyn Nets. And there's a steal by Rondo. Nicely done as he Ooh. snuck up behind. Mr. Dwayne Wade got into the basket. And Butler is fouled by Bogdanovich. Count the bucket, though, on the continuation. Well, Bogdanovich didn't remember that there is continuation in the NBA. If you want to foul somebody, foul them. If you don't grab somebody and foul them hard, they're going to make a shot. The players nice. are too good in this league. Butler firing and scoring. Butler Bogdanovich. Now Butler. He fires. And that's good. Jimmy Butler. Rondo to Butler. And Rondo again right there just orchestrating the offense like a quarterback, getting everybody where they're supposed to be. Fifth assist, five points, three rebounds. And the ball they said. Not well passed, and outside McDermott unloads and rims it out. And the rebound back to Butler, short tap, no. Jimmy again up and good. He's just he's really work good everybody. Time. He had to earn that one. Out to McDermott. McDermott, little floater, no. McDermott, his own rebound. Back out to Lopez. Oh, he missed Taj. Go to him. Taj goes inside and scores. Okay, well, they missed him on the initial pass, but got it to him. Better late than never. Wade, there's that jumper again, and on the money again. 
And the art of the mid-range jump shot. And he reached double figures down with 10. There's Butler back door and Good hammers cut. it down with two hands. Good cut. That time gave Brooklyn a little bit of their own medicine with the back cut. Butler reversing and scoring. And Jimmy keeps the Bulls in it. Quickly, they get it. And that ball stolen. And here comes Rondo the other way. Rondo drops it to the trailer. Butler, and he is not cartwheeling. And will draw the foul. Butler will go to the free throw line. Hamilton, that's just short. And the rebound fought for. Saved by Hamilton. And then the shot up and in and out. No good by Hollis Jefferson. Those are the ones if you're, you're Coach Atkinson. To pull the ball out. back out. Reset the clock. Driving Butler and he scores. And so the Bulls come down and convert that. You, know, that's, you just don't want that. You get a second chance opportunity. Pull that ball out if you don't have a layup. Butler raises up and scores. And just like that, it's a one-point game. Butler to his left. And now he forces the switch and gets Lopez on him. Step back, jumper is good. And a tough shot by JB. Big fella on his, in his grill. Rondo with one. It's bouncing. No. Tip. Yeah. Jimmy is good. Well, Jimmy took Foy into the post that time. And Foy tried to front. And when that shot went up, Jimmy got a second chance opportunity right there with the tip. Jimmy into the lanes. Gets to a stop. Back to uh, Lopez. Around the rim. He gets his brother back to Butler. Maybe. Jimmy the rest of the way. Firing for three. It's going out. He's going to ride Jimmy the rest of the way. They're going to ride him. He's got 34. Here's Jimmy again. Butler, drive, shot, no, but a foul. And he'll shoot two free throws to try to get the Bulls to within two. And he makes a pair. Two-point game here now. How bad do you want it, Neil Funk? He looked bad a moment ago until Jimmy made that three. A drive. Oh, and man. then the pitch out, stolen. Still Patrick, out of control. Now the Bulls can tie or take the lead. Michael Carter-Williams to Butler. And that's the guy whose hands you wanted in. Jimmy, crank back up top. Michael Carter-Williams, scoop, and oh, scoop. Get some with that the game. If you go double Jimmy Butler, that time Jimmy found the open man, Michael Carter-Williams. And now the Bulls on a 10-0 run. Boy, looking, 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 looking. Flips it in, and Lopez had it stolen. That was a big turnover. Yeah, right we'll there. see if that's why Brooklyn is 1-14 on the road. Jimmy, stop, pop, big out. Big-time players make big-time plays. Jimmy, G, buckets. The G stands for gets. They get it to Lopez. He turns against his brother and waits. Nowhere to go. Ten to shoot. Eleven. Low. There he goes in it. Just jams Ooh. one down. Oh, Where's my. the brotherly love? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Woo. He that dunked was brother on him like he was a stranger. Brother. Woo. Don't want to be in a hurry here. You're going to get the last shot of the game. Butler holds it out against Bogdanovich. Jimmy starts to drive. Step back in the air. Oh, let me oh. step back and oh kiss my. myself. Big time players make wow. big time plays. Butler, couple of dribbles, raised up, and bang, down the well it went. Jimmy G buckets, the G stands for gets. And that was all net, too. Oh, my goodness. And they just left Bogdanovich out here on the island by himself. And he says, you know what, this is Jimmy G bucket island. Get some. Step back. Kiss myself, Neil Funk. Woo! Sriracha! Sriracha! That's about nice. a 20-footer, and he, there oh, was never wow. a doubt. I, you know what? If you're Brooklyn. You know Jimmy Butler is going to take the shot. How do you leave a guy one-on-one -on -one out there? I know well, Butler is a good first defensive of all, player. First of all, don't, don't let him catch the inbounds no. fast. They, yes. I mean, they made it easy there for There was him. no resistance whatsoever, and then you allow him to isolate your guy one-on-one -on -one at the top of the circle. He just hit the go-ahead bucket before, and you ran nobody at him. Jimmy G. Buckets, what did it take to get this victory here tonight? Uh, a lot of heart. Um, my teammates fought hard. Obviously, I hit the shot at the end, but throughout the whole game, and everybody had a tough matchup, 
they manned up, and at the end of the day, we did what we were supposed to do. You had 40 points. You had, I think it was 27 in the second half. Were you feeling it safe to say in the second half? Uh, feeling it and, and taking rhythm shots. Um, I feel like all shots that I take are, are going to go in because I'm so used to taking those shots, man. But for my coaches and my teammates, they got the – Utmost confidence in me shooting whatever shot because they know it's going to be a good one. So you twisted your ankle. How is your ankle right now? Uh, I can feel it, but uh, it's still connected to my body, so I'm still trying to fight. Okay, and then there's some guy who came out of the locker room after you made the shot to greet you and congratulate you. That was Dwayne Wade. Yeah, uh, that's my guy. He, he's he been huge for me. Um, and the way I've been playing lately, he knows that I don't want to shy away from the ball. I want it in times like this. And that's the type of guy he is. Even though he was hurting a little bit, he came out here to show me love. All right. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Jimmy G. Buckets. Neil, Stacy, back to you. Tonight at the United Center, the Bulls try to halt a two-game slide against an Eastern Conference foe that sits atop the Southeast Division. First game of 2017, the Bulls at 16 and 18 versus the Hornets at 19 and 15. Butler puts it in drive and then stops and scores. Nice hard drive. Free throw line stops. Butler against uh, Kid Gilchrist. Stops, pops, bingo. Lopez defending into the lane and then a little fadeaway and that was partially blocked and came up well short. Butler slices in. Jumper in the air and good. All right now they're playing Batum on Doug McDermott and Kid Gilchrist on Jimmy Butler. Good ball. Yeah, just kind of left that hanging. Lamb has checked in for the Hornets as well. And here comes Butler reversing and scoring. What a play by Jimmy as he wheeled along the baseline, then reversed one up with English. Jimmy into the lane. Kick out to Doug, steps up, and scores play. Again, looking at Doug McDermott here in the early going, very aggressive. He's got two or three right now from the field, four points, but he's looking for a shot more, and he's moving without the basketball, which is key. Butler back to Lopez. Little hook is good. Good, good job by Jimmy finding Lopez rolling to the basket. Here's a Butler, and he's fouled again. Boy, he does have a knack for getting to the line. Unreal. Butler races in, stops and pops and scores again. Jimmy thought he was fouled. No call. There's uh, Jimmy down the lane, stops, fires, short, pass, back up and good. He just stayed with it that time. Batum backing in on the smaller Valentine, fires and rebound Jimmy. Butler streaks the other way. And looking for Taj and skips it across. Grant fires. Oh, I'll tell you what. That's a good look by Jimmy. <laughs> the younger players are knocking down threes. Jimmy over to Gilchrist around the rim and good. Jimmy with 23 in the game. Butler dribble drive. Now Lopez pokes it in. And it's the first time we've seen Robin Lopez with the perimeter jump shot. He's been knocking it down on a regular basis. And Jimmy read that and Jimmy's on the run. Hibbert tries to track him and a whistle on a foul. A good hard foul by Roy Hibbert. Make him earn it from the free throw line. Butler scores and a foul. Oh, Jimmy G buckets. The G stands for gifts. I'm telling you, he's got this whole team on his shoulders right now. Grant left side and then looped underneath for Jimmy. Catch, shot good. And went right into the post. Jimmy curls to the top. Batum shades him one way. Jimmy goes through him and scores again. Uh, right now there's no stopping Jimmy Butler. Well, it's 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 like a one-man wrecking crew. Four to shoot inside Hawes. He gets it to Marvin Williams. Short. Williams back up. Stripped and stole it. Or rather that was Kid Gilchrist. Here's Butler driving, foul, scores. Oh, Jimmy G buckets. The G stands for gets. And he can tie the game. And he's tied the game at 100. You talk about a guy putting the team on his shoulders. Butler against Batum. Shot too hard. Picked up by Jimmy to score. Seems like Jimmy's like there's five Jimmys out there. 
Well, they're off. <laughs> He's like everywhere. Basically, basically at both ends of the floor. Butler drives to the rim. Scores! Well, I'll tell you what. You better send a double team. He's, he's flying all over the place. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm really surprised that they are continuing to play the defense on Jimmy the way they have, especially late-game situations. Butler raises up. Scores. Oh, uh, my and the, the goal looks like a Lake Michigan right now, Neil. And this is a big, big possession here for the Bulls as well as the Hornets. They've got to get a stop. Jimmy's playing this like it's the last shot of the game. Holds the ball out against Platoon. Circles to his right, dances back, fires. Sriracha! Sriracha! He's hot! Oh my goodness! 47 Neil Funk! What He's channeling his inner six. Michael Jordan! Oh my goodness! Woo! Not much they can do. I Happy New Year, Chicago! They get it to Batum. He fakes. Jimmy's all over him. Batum a drive and a wild shot. Butler fittingly with a rebound. You know, 47 points. And they found rebounds. Jimmy Butler. Don't you dare throw that to anybody else, nope. Jimmy Butler. If you do, I'm finding you. I told you, just call me Notre Damas. I told you he's going to get 50. No, oh, you said that he'd probably have to score 50 for them to Well, win. Neil, don't rain on my parade, All right. okay? All right. All right. He said he'd the get 50. The fans didn't know that. Here we go. <laughs> Butler. has 50. There you go. I like to thank everybody who listened to me tonight when I said that Jimmy would need 50 for the team to win. They get it into Jimmy. Oh. He circles foul by Kid Gilchrist. Oh, Kid Gilchrist. And as we promised earlier in the game, it's Miller time, brought to you by Miller Light. If this features anybody except Jimmy Butler. I'm going to slap you, Neil. Yeah. I'm going to slap you. <laughs> Butler draining one right there. That was the last one he hit. Big time players make big time plays. That's why he's an all-star. Wow, he just kept pouring it on, too. Just flip it in. That's it. Game over. Bulls win. 118 to 111. Maybe, I'll you, take should it. Say, maybe you should say Jimmy Butler, 118. <laughs> I mean, he was terrific. The bench played great tonight for the Bulls. And then Jimmy Butler down the stretch went to the whip and carried him home. Did he? Woo. And uh, in a big time, big time performance. All right, Jimmy, uh, got the numbers here. 52 points, 12 rebounds, six assists. Not bad. Not a bad game for you here tonight. I'm being sarcastic. How are you feeling? I feel good. Um, made some shots. Got to the free throw line. Uh, got a win. That's all I really care about, man. I'm, I'm glad we, we pulled this one out in the new year, and hopefully it's the start of something. How big did the hoop look for you tonight? You made a whole lot of shots. Uh, it was pretty big. Um, but over the weekend, I was, I was in the gym. Uh, that's what I pride myself on. And my teammates kept giving me the ball, even when I didn't want the ball, telling me to score, be aggressive. When you got teammates like that, your confidence is through the roof. Were you surprised they didn't try to double team you down the stretch, especially? Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I just had it going. We started double teaming them too. You know, Kim was a hell of a player. Uh, we got a lock in on him, and then they got so many great shooters, man. It's just good to win, though. At, at the end of the day, we won. Did you hear the MVP chance? Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> that was Michael Carter Williams. Yeah, I heard it. Um, that was that was love right there, wasn't it? National free throw to judge you. That's that's it's a lot of pressure, but. Well, I got it done. I stepped up and made it. When you hear the MVP chance, I mean, that's got to feel really good. It does, man. I love this city. Um, I think this city loves me as well. And I want, I want a championship here. We got a long way to go, but um, it's possible. Congrats on the game. And yes, of course, the win. I know you want that more than anything. Thank you. Thanks. Well, back home tonight at the United Center, the Bulls try for three straight wins as they host the Atlantic Division leaders. The Bulls have won nine straight versus the Raptors and would love to extend that streak. It's the Bulls at 18 and 18 versus the Raptors at 24 and 11. DeRozan threw it away. Hard to believe as good as they've been. And that their Eastern Conference team is uh, Dwayne Wade rattles one down 6-2. Lob, catch, oh, Jimmy Butler the dunk. And that was Michael Carter-Williams with a picture-perfect pass. Butler against Ross. And to go. 
nice strong move. And there's some traffic back outside. And that's good by Robin Lopez. I want to see the Bulls, you know, get back to what they were doing against Cleveland. And that ball was going from side to side to side. Everybody was touching it. Butler oh! running in, scooping, scoring, and a foul. Yeah, that was a tough shot. Wow. Well, JB took it right into the chest of Valanchunas, banked it in. Butler from outside. He answers in time. With Amari Carroll on him. Butler posted, shot short, rebound. Lowry saved it, and Butler picked that off. Then he fires and scores. That's a three for Jimmy. Toronto knows that no lead is safe as long as Jimmy's still out there. Butler comes through and scores. And without Valanciunas in there, Jimmy's able to get to the rim. Butler to Doug. Now uh, Nico, he stayed attached. And Butler rips it and scores. Jimmy Butler. Eight to Butler. Firing and scoring. That's a three. The home run ball by Jimmy. And suddenly big it's a six-point game. That was a big shot right there. Yeah. Lowry circles. Bounces back to Valentino. Saved by Butler. What a play by Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy's everywhere, baby. There's five Jimmy Butlers out there. Oh, yeah, Jimmy again. On his shoulders. Shot. No, but a foul. Yes. He wants to steal. He's just going to get the ball there. And in a hustle, keeps the ball alive. It's a defensive play. Honda defensive play of the game. Oh, that was the Honda defensive play of the game. Big one by Jimmy. And then he... Splashes in the free throw. Second. Four-point game. Here comes uh, DeRozan. Picked up by Wade again. Stayed right with him. DeRozan on the post. Fires the jumper. Way short rebound McDermott. That was a fourth shot by DeMar DeRozan. With D-Wade all over him. Butler again. Butler. Fires. Oh, free cheese. Mouse in the house. I told you, Lowry, they found him that time. Jimmy Butler went in the post. D-Wade finds him. Turnaround jump shot over the smaller Lowry. And we got ourselves a game, Neil Funk. Butler circles, pump fake, fires. He'll shoot three. And he's got to shoot free throws for the lead. And Jimmy ties the game. Jimmy now. 34 points in the game. 35 points in the game. DeRozan outside. Lowry fires. Missed that. Rebound Butler. Who else? Wayne Wade said, yo, Jimmy, it's your show. Yeah. The Jimmy Butler show. And now Jimmy telling everybody else to get out of the way. Butler circles, drives. Way oh, with a Sriracha! Sriracha! That was a great Woo! drive and then fine by what, Jimmy. What a cut and what a pass. The Marquette connects. 101-99, pulls by two. Here comes Lowry, right on in. The layup's good. That Ties can't happen. Man. That can't happen. You can't let him split. Butler, not that time. Butler bats it to. Oh, he comes to the wall Sriracha. with it. Give me the hot sauce. Woo! It's a game, Neil. 104-101. Now DeMar DeRozan, defended by Dwayne Wade. DeMar DeRozan, rainbow and an air ball. He was fouled. Wow, you can't call that. Tied at 107, a 20 taken by Fred Hoiberg. Butler holds the ball out, directing traffic. McDermott comes up. Jimmy to the baseline, pump fake, nowhere to go, back to Wade. Wade spinning, twisting, falling, firing, no tap, no rebound to Toronto. Do they want a timeout? Get back, get back. AC lets him play on. DeRozan, short. Rebound tapped out. Lowry, no at the horn. Ooh, they had two tries. Oh, my goodness. And neither one would go. DeRozan left it short, and then Lowry oh. came up short. Butler with Carroll on it. Jimmy driving, shooting, missing through the foul. And DeRozan's upset that Jimmy's getting to the foul line, but he's gotten to the free throw line almost as much. Here's Butler, loose again. Drop to Doug. Oh, and he meet the ball. me at the rim and don't be Nicely late. Doug, Jimmy, the penetration. McDermott, the dunk. There's a Butler, a drive, and it's blocked, but foul. Butler, another free throw. Jimmy with 38 points. Make it 39 points for Jimmy. Butler. 
isolation. Again, look at the other four players. They're all just stacked on the other side of the floor as Jimmy goes to work. Somebody's got to move, though. Butler wheeling, step back, fires, scores! Oh, let me step back and kiss oh, myself oh, again! Jimmy! Wow! I'll 42 tell you what. in the game for Butler. That boy is good! That boy is good, fuck! Woo! 121-116. Butler. Watch this. Plants one. Step back. Kiss myself. Now he didn't bang, have bang, time bang. to do that, but he did have time to stride by the Toronto bench. Stop me if you can. Jimmy Butler with 42. DeRozan back to Lowry. Up shooting a three. Missing. Rebound. Taj. Game over. You can drive home safely. Big win. 123 to 118. The Bulls come back from 19 down to extend their winning streak over the Raptors to 10 straight games. Now tonight at the United Center, the Bulls go for three in a row and try to move back over 500. The Hawks, meantime, are seven and three in their last 10 and playing very well. It's the Bulls at 23 and 23 versus the Hawks at 26 and 19. Fed down to Lopez. He spins on Howard. Back out to Jimmy out of the corner. Nice. He drains a jumper. Nice. That's a three. And JB is so good at just catch and shoot. Butler back out to Wade. Rises and scores. Nice. Good job for D. Wade. Now Cephalosha. Ernest Wade takes him to the baseline, dropped it off in the middle, stolen by Butler. Jimmy steps in, goes up, scores in the foul. And he just overpowered Dennis Schroeder that time in transition. That's knocked away by Jimmy, and here he comes. Bulls with active hands early. Butler and Wade in particular bounce back. Grant drives, scoop, score. Nice move by Jaron Grant. Butler a drive and his banker is good. Hardaway Jr. and they got the switch they wanted. He drives, fires one wild. The rebound, Butler, he's got time. Jimmy stops, the step back is good. Bang, bang, bang. Lopez handed back to Butler. Butler, little mid range jumper, he banked it in. It would be efficient game so far. Five of seven from the field, 13 points to match Dwayne Wade. Butler, yeah, Jimmy, nice. up at the baseline. They had a hard time switching that time. They had Schroeder on Jimmy, an initial switch. He tried to switch back quickly. Butler inside, and he got it Jimmy to go. He just overpowered Bazemore. That snapped an 11 0 Atlanta run. Hardaway, he pulls up for three. That misses, and they're trying to go for the home run ball. That's two of them in a row. Butler, a drive, and a shot that's good. What a move on Jimmy. Move. He looked like a running back going through a hole. He just cuts the ball. Got a lot of contact going up and is able to finish. Ten seconds left. Butler will be his option here to shoot or make a play. Butler raises up and the jumper is good at the horn. That's a three-pointer by Jimmy. Hoiberg put in Butler and Wade, and Jimmy drains the jumper. 434. Here comes Wade again. Time Howard got back into the center of the lane, and Butler a drive. The kick out to Wade. Handed back to Jimmy. Rises and scores. Oh, and Jimmy, oh my Jimmy goodness. buckets the G stands for gets. Butler wow. tapped as he released it. How about the how about the drop off from D Wade? And then Jimmy, G buckets, the G so stands for Butler gets. completes the three-point play. And JB now with 36. And it's been the Butler and Wade show. Going like that. Yes. I mean, why would you put it in somebody else's hand? But, it, but that just, that's just recognition. You know, KYP, know your personnel. Know who's got it hot and who's got it going. Butler, zips it, set the screen. Butler, crossed over. Butler, up fake, shot, up the drop. Good back right in. there. Got his man up in the air. And now it's about defense. Who's going to pick up Schroeder now? Schroeder's a guy right now you got to keep an eye on. Him. Jimmy's on him. Schroeder, fake, and a drive. Whips it out. Baysmore, a drive. A lot. 
Evans, and uh, Dwight Howard bangs one down. Butler raises, missed that one, rebound tapped around, Lopez back up and good. That'll get mentally tough for him, mentally tougher in these games. 119-114, and a timeout, and nope, they're going to let it go. They're going to let the clock go, and that's it. 119-114, the Hawks come from behind. Biggest lead by the Bulls was 12, but they led nearly the entire game. But the Hawks, with a three-point barrage at the end, able to win the basketball game. On a mild 39-degree night in the Whitney City, this is the final game before the All-Star break. We are at the United Center in Chicago, along with the usual sellout crowd, better than 21,000. They're still making their way into the building as we welcome you to the NBA on TNT presented by State Farm, the right combination for tonight's NBA coverage. The Boston Celtics facing the Chicago Bulls. A look at the Eastern Conference standings. Cleveland on top. Celtics at 37 and 19 on a run. Only two and a half games back while the Bulls in the number seven slot. Only a half game over Detroit and one and a half over Milwaukee. Hunter Williams starting out on Thomas as you mentioned and Isaiah way off the save ends up in the hands of, of Michael Carter Williams it's a three on one and now Boston gets back but Carter Williams is able to hit during the regular season for whatever reason the Bulls have won 16 straight in games televised by TNT the last loss as Gibson is able to hit on the floater the last regular season loss in a game seen on TNT February 21st, 2013. I throw it out there for what it's worth. Isaiah showing off his passing skills here early. What a nice little alley oop lob pass in there. And he's, you, you talked about him in the fourth quarter, uh, Marv. He just has so much confidence. He can go wherever he wants with that ball. He just is able to get in the paint as Jimmy Butler knocks on a jump shot. He's able to get in the paint. He's making the three. He's getting the free throw line. Crowder for three, way off. Got glass. Rondo fires it down. The Butler ahead of the three. Good rebound by Rondo. Good Time look out. up as Brad Stevens calls a timeout on that uh, on that fast break by the Bulls. Danny feels no need to make a trade right now. He's a very, very patient gentleman. He's done a great job here. So I just don't know if he's going to uh, feel the need to do something. And again, you know, uh, as my man Portis is playing very well and making the three there. Just uh, pretty positive that would do it. Off the steal, fighting Butler. Butler. Butler off the screen. Here's Butler. Able to bump it home. Nice patient move there. Beat Crowder off the dribble, then had to just wait for uh, Al Horford to come over, kind of fade a little bit, use the, use the bank, and nice offensive move by Butler. Thomas protecting the ball and able to hit on, on the floater. He's listed at, uh, what, 5'9"? How tall do you think he is? He is 5'7", is at the most. Five maybe seven. even 5'7". I don't know, maybe less than that. But uh, forget about that. He plays so big. And he gets in the paint and finishes all the time over bigger players. It's amazing how easily Jimmy, Butler gets an offensive rebound and a putback. Amazing how easily Isaiah Thomas gets in the paint and how comfortable he is finishing amongst the trees in there. Butler on a fadeaway. Oh, he's feeling it now. Yeah, a couple of those drives getting fouled, the layup, uh, the, you know, the rondo dish off to him. That's all. That's all Scorer needs to see that ball go in the hole a few times. Now he's making step backs. Is Gibson from straight away? Comes back to Butler. Played on the switch by Thomas. Good defense here by Boston. Butler fires and hits from the corner. Nice shot by Jimmy Butler in that left corner. Had Isaiah Thomas on, got the ball, and just rose up knowing that Isaiah is not going to be able to contest him at the top. I spoke with Isaiah Thomas before the game, and he said nothing about those numbers you just showed surprised him. He says he feels this is the way it's supposed to be, and in the fourth quarter, his teammates want him to score. They give him the ball. He loves that moment. It's not something he's created or thought about. It just becomes that time for him. And he said the respect is coming, and he likes it most when it comes from his peers. Butler finding some space and then met by the double. He's got it down there. Good play by, by Butler finding Felicio Butler to the fadeaway. Yeah, oh my goodness. Butler, he's had a strong game. 25 points. Let's see if they run that pick and roll again here with uh, Hartford. And ooh, he just took him alone. Didn't away from the pick and roll. Great defense by 
Uh, Butler chasing him down and blocking from behind. Final seconds. One point, Boston Lee. We're down to two. We're down to one. Butler for the win. He claims he was fouled. Did they call the foul? Yes, they did. Ooh. With zero on the clock right now. They'll probably put some time back on. Boston does have a full run of 20 remaining. So they have a timeout. Obviously, Butler is tied it. Now they change it to point nine remaining. Yeah. Boston calls for time. Hart will inbound this time. Gibson defending the inbounds. There it is. To Fulton, he fires way off the Mitchell. The Chicago Bulls have pulled it out. They come from behind to beat the Celtics. The Bulls go to 28-29. Two straight wins after losing. Three in a row coming off that bad road trip. Blown out decisively in three of the road losses. So the Bulls are now... Just a game behind sixth place, Indiana. Full game over eighth place, Detroit. Celtics dropped to 37 and 20. The four game win streak stopped. They had won 11 of their previous 12. And Boston now three games behind first place, Cleveland, as they head to the All Star break. And uh, Kevin, for what it's worth, Chicago has now won 17 straight regular season games here on TNT. That goes back. Three years. Isaiah Thomas leading the way with 29 for Boston. Jimmy Butler coming on strong in the second half. 29 points and hit the free throw that tied the game and then the game winner. And he is with Rawls. Jimmy, huge free throws to seal the game. On the last play, you were able to draw the foul. Where and how was the contact? How were you able to do that against Smart? Uh, um, we all know that he's an aggressive defender. A good one at that, though. Um, you know, create a little space, spin back. Uh, D-Wade told me that to tell you the truth. Shoot over that shoulder, he got a piece of the elbow, go to the line, make two. You're a good defender, too. On the other end, everyone knows Isaiah Thomas is great in the fourth. You're defending him, you disrupted him. What were you concentrating on? Uh, make everything tough for him. I mean, the kid can play. He's small, but he got he got a lot of heart. Um, he's the key to their team. Um, he's a hell of a player, you know, get to the basket, shoot threes. It was tough. And now you guys have two wins going into the All-Star break. Coming out of the break, what does this team need? To keep doing what we're doing, um, not settling. Uh, we got we to win as many games as possible to, to end up where we want to be. But uh, if we play like that, we'll be fine. Where do you want to be? Where can this team be? Uh, I don't know. I think we got to take it one day at a time. But I know in our heads where we want to be. All right, thanks. Congrats. Thank you. Well, tonight at the United Center, the Bulls head down the stretch. 25 games left in the regular season and three new faces debut tonight in a Bulls uniform. It's the 28-29 Bulls versus the 18 and 39 Phoenix Suns. And that ball stolen, Butler broke it up. Michael Carter-Williams ahead to Butler and the layup's good. A nice pass by Bobby Portis. Good defense by Jimmy Butler to start it. Jimmy baseline, in and out, no good. And taken away by Butler. Jimmy the fake, shovel to Portis, goes up and scores. Again, without Taj Gibson now, Bobby Portis is going to get an opportunity to solidify this power forward position. He's going to get a lot of minutes, and he's got to really take advantage of it. Butler, got by Booker, runs in, shovel to Lopez, hooking, and got it again. I mean, Lopez is right showing you everything. I was told that P.J. Tucker was their best locker room guy. Valentine ties the game to the three. That P.J. Tucker was their best locker room guy and that players were close to tears when they found out that P.J. Tucker had been traded. Butler running in, back out. Denzel, bang, two for two. Goes. Denzel taking advantage of the extra minutes here. Butler. Isolates at the top and then pulls up with the jumper that's good. Butler against Warren. Butler turns and had to flip it back out. Portis, jumper, got it. You know, Phoenix is doubling Jimmy. Anytime yeah, they, he starts to make a move towards the basket, whether it be post up or on the perimeter, and it's forcing him to get rid of the ball. He's got six assists, so he's making the right basketball read. Butler turns, fires, scores. Good recognition. That Good recognition by JB that time. Had the smaller Bledsoe on him. Went right into the post. Butler swerving in to Lopez. Hooking what? good foul as well. And one on Lynn. Largest lead by the Suns, 13. The largest lead by the Bulls, 3. 
Phoenix like a heavyweight fighter just trying to hang on. Booker, a drive, oh, give and me that. There comes Miritich. Miritich flies in. That's blocked. Butler with it. He's in the lane. Back out. Nico for three. Oh. Sriracha. Give me the hot sauce, Nico Miritich. Big shots. Missed the layup, Neil, but he stayed with it. Jimmy got the offensive rebound and fires for a wide open Nico Miritich. Valentine to Butler. Jimmy stops, fires one, and scores. That's a three. Players make big time plays. It took him a while. It down. Took him a while, Neil Funk. Bledsoe handles at the top. And they, they run some clock. Now Bledsoe's loose. He drives, slips and falls, and the ball's out of bounds. Ten to shoot. Nine to shoot. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Six to shoot. Butler with Bledsoe on him. Fakes, fires, scores. Okay. Goes with the lead. The big time players make big time plays again. Back to back possessions. Jimmy Butler showing you why he's an all star, Bull fans. Eight seconds, seven. Booker poked away by Dwayne. Got it back. Booker hangs, fires. Nope. Wow. And that's it. Wow. They call a foul wow. on the shot. And Booker's made two. And he ties the game. They have not shot free throws well all night. And they still don't. They fight for it. The game is going to overtime. Whip has stolen by Jimmy Butler. He races in and dunks the ball. Jimmy G buckets. The G stands for gets. He, he, you can see that coming. Butler. Hangs, fires, banks it in. Wow. Jimmy, Jimmy's coming to play here in overtime. Oh, there's a hard screen by Lopez, and Butler is fouled. Clock winds down. Game over. 128 to 121 in overtime. The Bulls come from behind and stun the Phoenix Suns. Uh, tonight, the Bulls play north of the border in Canada. The Raptors provide the opposition trying to snap an 11 game losing streak to the Bulls. Bulls and Raptors in an Eastern Conference showdown. And the Bulls for the first possession. Butler, a jumper and scores. Right off the box, jump shot. You got Damari Carroll on him. He's supposed to be their, arguably their best defender, wing defender. Rondo, deep right corner. Buckets. And that's where he's really been, really playing well. And shooting the ball well from that short corner. Now he's two and two from the three-point line. Butler all the way in. Oh, got him a Euro step here in Toronto. Nice move by JD. Oh, nice crossover. Jimmy runs in back to Lopez. Down the lane, got it up and good. And I'll tell you what, yeah, Robin Lopez is really efficient. Listen, his numbers have gone up since the Taj Gibson trade. I mean, he was averaging 9.4 points a game. When Taj is here, his numbers are up to 13 and a half. Lopez handed back to Rondo. Threaded baseline. Butler a turnaround. Good move without the basketball that time. Back to Lopez. To Jimmy underneath. Back out. Rondo hops one up and pours oh, it in. I tell you what, they can't afford to keep leaving Rondo. He's showing he's knocked down the shot consistently now. Butler fires the jumper and scores. It was a good rhythm shot, too, by Jimmy. Butler running in to Zipser. Miritich lines it up and missed it. Tipped in by Good Butler. Shot. They didn't box Jimmy out that time. Butler, corner, Miritich, bottom of the net is all. Oh, tough shot, too. The pocket game closed out. Now Joseph fires one and misses. And here comes Rondo right on in. Back to Nico. Miritich dropped it, fumbled it, picked it up. Loose, back out to Butler for three. The whole oh. is good. Good hustle by Nico. Hey, and now Lopez and Abaca start throwing. Ooh. And Lopez oh, punches. Has, there are a couple of punches thrown. Well, I'll tell you what, I think Robin got the best of that. Oh, yeah, there were some punches thrown. Boy, Robin Lopez and Sergi Baca. Okay, everybody needs to get back. Get Calm back. down. Calm down. No time to get people ejected. And you see, Ibaka kind of started it. And he threw a, he threw a kind of a cheap shot in the kidneys of Lopez. And then there, Ibaka threw a punch. Now watch this. Now watch Ibaka 
right when the play's over, he didn't like the bump that Lopez did. And then there you go right here. Now there's a pushing and shoving. And then right there, Lopez threw a punch. He threw a punch. Back to DeRozan. Backs in. DeRozan up block by Butler. Good defense. And then uh, taken away by the Bulls. Butler from outside and knocked it in. Yeah, he looked for the foul that time. That's a, that a tough shot by JD. Jimmy to the dribble. Jimmy to the baseline, back out. Zips her fire, scores. Oh, man. I was, getting ready, shot. Say, I was getting ready to say that's a tough shot he's taking. Jimmy against uh, PJ Tucker. To his right, fires the jumper, scores. Bulls lead. And this crowd, uh, crowd in Toronto has seen the Butler act before. Van Fleet had to go a ton in the air for that. Van Fleet, the drive, threw it away. Butler's on the run, stepping in and scores. Uh oh. Well, he came out of nowhere and got that steal. Butler at the top of the circle. Comes left with a hard drive, right on in and scores. And that's what I'm willing to see him do in regulation. The Rose and the drive knocked away by Jimmy and out of bounds. That goes to the Bulls. Good defense by JB that time. Got it ahead to Jimmy. Butler fadeaway jumper is good. 122 to 120 in overtime as Toronto snaps an 11 game losing streak to the Bulls coming from 16 back to do it as Jimmy Butler and DeRozan, the two stars of their respective teams, came together to show a little respect. And uh, well-deserved Butler with 37, DeRozan with 42, will be back. Gene Bulls play an afternoon getaway game as they welcome in Atlanta to the United Center before playing four straight on the road, Bulls and Hawks in a Saturday afternoon matinee. Lopez trying to find Butler and does. He fires on the rim, bounces in, got the bounce. Butler against Bazemore, fed inside Lopez. He hooked it in, was fine. A nice movement by Lopez. Well, he stepped right in front of Dwight Howard, who was waiting for Jimmy to make a move. Butler down the lane, bounce to Lopez, shot good. And he's been knocking that shot down all year. We've said it many, many times. He's three for four to start the game. Here it is. He is three. Well, Nico joins in the three-point fun with his first make of the afternoon. They don't have anyone other than Schroeder that can create and score. Schroeder's more of an offensive-minded point guard. Miami lost last night. Trying to survive without Deion Waiters. Butler over uh, Prince. And Jimmy, after they exchanged pleasantries, made him pay. Heritage, yeah. Butler posted, turns, and scores. He's just having his way with well, Prince. I've said this all along. That's where he needs some of his game. I know. The switch made. Now Schroeder guards Miritich. Butler looks at him in the post. Fanned out. Rondo a three. And okay. Rondo has been cooking from the three-point line. And ahead it comes to Butler. JB. Stops and pops. Mid-range game is a killer. Baysmore, Bobs, Howard couldn't collect it. And the Bulls run the other way. Butler driving, shooting, strong. Strong move by JD in transition. Butler raises up from 16. That's an answer. Butler bangs his way in and scores. It's over looking for the foul call. Didn't get it. Ilya Sova, the pump fake, and then blocked by Jimmy. Oh, how about a foul there by Ilya Sova? Knocked away. Wow. Schroeder driving. Layup good. He has just been in the paint. Butler driving, shoveling to Lopez, and he dunks it down. Good setup by Jimmy. Butler and Miritich. 
Nico wide open. Good two-man game that time. JB decided to go baseline. Defense went with them. Butler, clear path, drive and kick. Valentine lines it up and knocks it down. Now you got to play some defense. Got to get some stops here. Baysmore shadows uh, JB. Butler, a drive. Butler, a layup. It's good. Jimmy G. Buckus, the G stand for Gets. Back outside, Rondo back to Jimmy. Butler raises up. Oh, oh stop it. it. Stop it! Three to tie the game. Big time shot. Big time players make big time plays. Butler slices through there. They leave hey. him alone. He got it. Up there. Strong move. What a shot by Butler. Butler nine to shoot. About a second, a little over a second difference in the clocks. Butler hangs, fires short, follow good. That was gonna be a foul. A foul Jimmy got Jimmy fouled. shot. Butler. 8-2. Yep. Coffee's for closers, Neil. Dunleavy looks, looks, looks. Wide open. Got it. Hardaway fires. No. Yeah, he got a good look. Oh, yes, he he got a good look. Bulls got what? Bulls got lucky on that one. He Woo! got a good look from the top, but way strong. Oh, my. And he boy, woo! Right Bulls on. dodge one. And just a but we'll take it, Funk. Drive home safely, BB. Well, a four-game road trip begins in New Orleans. With solid play, the Bulls have jumped right into the center of the Eastern Conference playoff race. And it's down the stretch we go. The Bulls and the New Orleans Pelicans. Rondo guarded by Hill. Now here goes Butler. Cranks it out. Zips are a fake and a step-up jumper that's good. Bulls on top. Butler with a step back that uh, no good, but Butler his own rebound. Steps through everybody, scores oh, and a wow. foul. That's just out hustle. The yeah. Pelicans right there. There was three white jerseys sitting right in the paint, and they didn't even really make a move for that ball. They were waiting for their teammate to get it. Through Holiday. Up. Not through traffic. Yeah. Lead pass Butler and he dumps the ball. Good play. Good play by Rondo. Gets the rebound. Jimmy streaks out. The drive by Cousins. That won't go. Frazier still back at the other end. And still hobble. Jimmy fade away. Nice Good. play. And he got he got Davis on his hip with a strong drive baseline and was able to stop on the dime and pull up. Butler swerving in. Goes up and scores. He tricked Cousins that time as he came back to his right. Angling left. Portis from the top. But if it's going to be Cousin Steen, would you agree it's got to be, he's got to make more of an effort than he makes? I don't even think it's his team. It's Anthony Davis' well, team. No, I agree. You but know, I'm saying that. for him to even be, it's not that he's not a, a very skilled player. And I, I, just think, I just think that Cousins, if he wants to be, you know, his career to go down as a winner, He's going to have to change the way he approaches the game as far as the mental part. I, I think he's made some strides. There's a bucket right there. Bang, bang, bang. You know, I think he's made some strides, Neil, as far as, you know, trying to grow up a little bit. But he still, he still reverts back a little bit. There's a ball tapped around and rebounded by Portis. And the Bulls. The trailer Butler. Come on. Oh, Jimmy G. Buckets. What a leave by Rondo. Butler against Hill. Fade away. There he's good. Going. And we talked about this about Jimmy last night. He is going back into the post, and he is dominating in the post with his back to the basket. Butler, and once again against Hill in the post. Fade away. Oh, he didn't Dirk Nowitzki yeah. him. He didn't hit him with a Dirk Nowitzki one-legged yeah, jump top. And, then he, and he thought he was hit on the plane. Wow. Here's Butler. Peak check three. Peak check. And he's still got a rock shot. Right over Holiday. Wow, he is it. piling it on. 25 he might go for 50. points in the first half. He, he might go for 50. Meritich trying to get three Ooh. right back and does. That just hurts you right there. That's Anthony Davis. Quick catch and shoot. Cousins double team. Doesn't care. And then tries to nearly threw it. There's Butler. Collects it. Butler. Scoop. No follow. Yes. Oh, wow. Holiday. Holiday is wide open. There he is again. The drive. The shot. No contact, but no foul. And Holiday and Lopez. As, uh, 
Certainly New Orleans shows a little fight. Lopez wanted easily. Lead pass Butler. Butler runs in. Oh, oh nice score. play. Nice play. Good body control by yeah. JB. Very nice. He avoided the shot block. Got into the corner. Michael Carter wins back out. Butler's all alone. Oh, oh, he he is. Is. Why not? I mean, Jimmy is on fire. Seven point game. Jimmy running in, scoop score, and a foul. Again, Cousins not wanting to come up on that pick and help out. And he finds himself kind of just in no man's land. And Jimmy just blows right by him. Now watch. He doesn't want to get out there. He reaches. And then a little cheap foul right there. And a little push at the end right there. Boom. With the right hand. There's just no way he could stay with uh, Jimmy. There's uh, Portis. And he oh. carries another one. Oh, my, oh goodness. my goodness. He is on fire. And now brings it with a dribble against Holiday to the baseline. John oh, his off is for closers, Neil. Get that man a cup. Woo! Big time shot by Jimmy Butler again. He's 14 of 26. He's got 39 points. The way the... I mean, if you, if you can get in at a reasonably, a reasonably high seed, the way the bottom of the... Eastern conferences. I mean, there's no question. Yeah, you, you might be able to go far. Well, how about this? You you, you match yourself up against the Toronto in the first round. Well, exactly. You yeah. avoid Cleveland you think and they, Boston. You think they are a little nervous about that? Absolutely. Drive home safety, Chicago. Beep beep. Well, it is Boston in April. It's the 2017 NBA playoffs, and the Bulls trying to do some first round damage on the road. Number one versus number eight. It's the Bulls and the Boston Celtics. Tap one by Lopez. A look at the officials for this first round playoff game. Somewhere. Starting off good. Down screen for Jimmy Butler. Coming off a double screen curl. That's Butler with a tip and then oh, the buckets. Nice. By Lopez. You hardly ever see that kind of tip play right there. Heads up play by JB, recognizing Robert Lopez is by himself. Butler a drive, flies in and draws a foul. He'll get to the free throw line. Butler running in on Smart, got it to Wade at the baseline, and he pokes one in. That's a three by Dwayne Wade from Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler with Thomas on him, back to Wade. Wade dribble drive, shot short, rebound Butler back up and good. Offensive rebounds. The Bulls right now are dominating the backboards, 32 to 19. Great. And Lopez with a double double. Butler firing score. Jimmy got a three, and that ties the game at 69. Well, that's his first rhythm shot that he got since he started the game 2 0 when he got the down screen. Butler, he's driving, scooping, scoring. Good move by JB. Just a couple of ticks difference in the game. Jimmy for three. Bang, bang, bang. And we're tied again at 74. Now the one issue for them was uh, the tragedy as Butler there you scores. Go. And Jimmy starting to assert himself now was the tragedy yesterday with uh, Isaiah Thomas's sister. Portis back out, Butler rises, fire scores. And no hesitation right there. Jimmy just raised up and shot it. No ball fake. Catch and shoot. They flip it in. Grant back to Jimmy. The straightaway is good. He got away from Bradley and gives the Bulls back the lead. I tell you what, he's, he's, when he's on rhythm and he's coming up and catching it on rhythm, it looks like it's automatic every time. That's a big shot, Jimmy. There's Oh, boy, that thing looked from our It looked like it was off. It did look like it was going to go left. And Lenick flips it in. And they get it back to Isaiah Thomas. He drives, goes up, oh, blocked away. Just block from behind, and that's off of Boston. Good defense by J.B. Hit him right on the head, out of bounds. Oh, it looked like Thomas had a clearer path if he'd have shot that left-handed on the left side. But he elected to go underneath and Jimmy from behind. Jimmy against Jay Crowder. Slices in. Goes up, scores. Well, I guess you can hold the ball. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy. 
Well, he rode, he rode Crowder, uh, Crowder right out of there. That was terrific. There's the three in the air. No rebound cap. No drive on safely. Bulls win. Bulls win game one as they take one from Boston here. Bulls win a road game to open Woo! this first round series. And they deliver a message. Believe, believe, Bulls fans, believe.